Hello, everyone. Welcome to the Elder Scrolls podcasts. Podcasts. Yeah. Podcasts. Uh, the new companions. I have a. I have awesome, epic guests with me today. I'm going to be talking about the latest DLC. It is called Dragonhold. It is very awesome. Um, and I have with me Ninja, and I have with me T the Kiji as well. I'm going to show you their awesome faces. Just let us know if the audio is in, if there's any issues in the chat as well. But otherwise, we're here on Twitch. We're also here on Anchor, on Spotify, uh, on all the different things as well as YouTube um, and all the places. We've had a little bit of a break for about a month. Basically, I started grad school, so I needed to make sure that that was all taken care of. And I was had a bit of a routine going, so I'm sorry there was a break. Um, but... I thought, you know, come back with, with a smashing show. I mean, we're, we've got DLC. Um, so let's introduce the guest. We've got Ninja614, who's been here before. How you doing, dude? Are you good? Fire than a frog's hair cut four ways. Not That's heard that one before. <laughs> That's a new one. <laughs> so uh, just in case, because obviously if you're on Twitch and you're watching, you probably know what Ninja614 does. Um, but if you're listening everywhere else, what do you do, Ninja614? With, with I game? play video games on the internet, and people watch me do it. That's what I do. There we go. Mostly Elder Scrolls Online. Mostly Elder Scrolls Online. Twitch slash Ninja614. You get in there. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you've done this before. I like this. Awesome. It's really, really good to have you again, dude. Um, obviously been in on the show a few times now, so some, a lot of you will probably know, uh, have at least heard his voice on the show before. And we have the awesome, as well, T the Khajiit. How you doing, T? You good? Hello, I'm doing good. Thank you for having me back. No, you are very, very, very welcome. And T has been here as well before. T, what do you do? Hey, Generally. what a coincidence. I also stream on Twitch and I also stream Elder Scrolls online. <gasps> so wow. I've God. Been small world. Games. So. It's, it's a very small world. Indeed. It's like, it's like I did this on purpose or something. Um, I know. <laughs> So, so if you want to go and follow T, it's twitch.tv slash uh, T underscore the underscore Khajiit. And these links will be in the description uh, of whatever content you're watching, whether or not it's on Spotify, Anchor, uh, YouTube, or even the Twitch world. Um, so what we're going to be talking about is the latest DLC, okay? Dragonhold. And it is the last one. It's, this is the last one of the year, right? This is, um, this, yes. This is like, first of all, talk about... The fact that it's not only, you know, not only was generally, I thought would probably think it's awesome, but we'll talk about that in a minute. But this is the last one of the year. I mean, you know, Ninja was, you know, it was there at the beginning of the, actually, it's pretty good that you are here actually to talk about it, thinking about it. Because, you know, this was January, right? You were at Twitch. Yep. Mm -hmm. And you were talking about the entire year. How does yeah. it feel to be on the last DLC of the, I got little goosebumps actually. And like, it's about like you're in the last one we're almost in december mate i mean uh, yeah wow that's a journey it's in itself yeah i like this format i hope that mm. they play with this more this idea of a year-long story arc that has something to look forward to i really like how they wrapped it up i really liked how you have the chapter story that you needed to complete in order to then unlock the final story piece in the final DLC of the year. Yeah. So there's some continuity there. And um, because I was, you know, there's some stuff that happens in the elsewhere chapter that, you know, I was eager to find out how we wrap that up, you know, because it, it, it very clearly set us up for a second confrontation. And so it was uh, very satisfying. I thought to finally get to c conclude that and how, how much, I mean, are we assuming that spoilers are now? I think what we're going to do, I didn't, I didn't put it in the actual title. I might put it in the title of the stream, but if you, but there, here is a warning. We are going to talk. We've all done this, right? We've all done it. Yeah. Yeah. So we yeah. are going to talk spoil spoilers. So if you have not completed this, you need to go. <laughs> like yeah. if this is live. Like if you are listening to this anywhere else recorded, we will be spoiling you, the the literally the game. I mean, maybe come back per like you know bookmark it. <laughs> yeah, but it's gonna be literally like there is gonna be spoilers. Um, because I I think you know that's it's been it's not been that long, but still, 
We want to talk about it as well, you know? I mean, how long has it been, actually? Well, console hasn't even had a chance to play through it yet, so... Ah, this is true, actually. Yeah, if they've been avoiding streams ah. and saving it, then, you know, this is not the podcast for them. No, exactly. So we haven't said anything yet, even, like, you know, even elsewhere, I think, to a degree. But this is your official spoiler warning. Do not listen to this any further until you've played through it. Yeah. Otherwise, we're going to talk about it right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> um, but yeah. So last last DLC um, as well. I mean, that's like you said, you like this format. So I was looking back on the format and it was like, you know, past DLCs have just been what, like Ossinium, like their own thing, right? They haven't right. really yeah. continued on. So that's what you, you're talking about in terms of, you know, carrying on this theme, right? Well, the DLCs were either one-offs like Merkmire, which is yep. just kind of its own little opportunity to them for them to tell some more lore about Argonians, which I thought was great. Yeah. But the most of the DLCs have been a continuation of like a four-year story arc mm. where you had things, they were a little, they were not, you didn't have to complete the storyline there in order to know what was going on in the grander picture in terms of what ultimately was wrapped up in Somerset as a mm. chapter, but... That was the sort of all of the little like Orsinium and Clockwork City, um, more when they all had things that were uh, hinting at and giving you more reveals of stuff that was happening in the background, mm. ultimately leading up to what happened in the Somerset story. But that took four years and it just felt like this ongoing saga. Yeah, it wasn't like massive. I mean, it was like little bits. It wasn't like this, right. was it? Yeah. Where it was like, you know, it, this is going to happen, then this happens. It's like, right. You know, yeah. If you're a lore nerd, you were and were paying attention, you would pick up on little things and piece them together and recognize that this is all all related. But uh, they did a good job of making it so that you could come into the game at any time and do those storylines, and they were still entertaining and stood okay on their own in terms of mm -hmm. a story, but um, and not have any idea that this is related to stuff that happened in previous That's previous right. chapters and DLCs and stuff. So. Okay. Um, which is great for a long time player, but this this concept of a year long one, I think, is much easier to sort of um, feel, feel connected to it. Yeah, yeah, invested in it. Yeah, that's a good yeah. word for it yeah. because it's not as ethereal. It's not as sort of out there. Yeah, it's not. Uh, as vague. Those long story arcs just kind of feels like you're telling stories. That, you know, they're. Um, from an entertainment value, it's less impactful, I guess, because it just yeah. seems like, you know, yeah, the Daedra are in the background doing bad things. Well, we know that. They always are. That's nothing <laughs> new. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, that's true. And and T, like, do you do you feel the same? You think you kind of prefer the way this these the the way the DLCs have been handled the last year? Just talking gen very generally yeah. about having like an overarching story and stuff. That's more clear. Yeah, I guess. so my favorite part about it is um the dungeons felt a lot more unified like mm. sometimes the dungeons felt very random in their theme mm -hmm. um to a point where they were almost forgettable after the dlc wasn't fresh and new anymore mm. whereas this time it's like oh well the season of dragon you know dungeons go do that so you can get um stuff for the Oh, like the, to get the house and things yeah. like that. Um, it just all felt really nicely packaged, and mm -hmm. you could enjoy them separately, which is nice. Um, but it is a lot easier to tell new players, "Hey, you should maybe do the, you know, main story quest and uh, elsewhere before doing Southern Elsewhere." Instead of being like, "Well, you have to do Orsinium." And then you have to do yeah. these guilds in yeah. Brotherhood, and then go to Morrowind, then Clockwork City, um, then Somerset. It's like, oh my goodness, they're never going to, like, yeah. most people are not going to go through everything. Or maybe I didn't go through it in order. I did Somerset first because <laughs> I wasn't questing too much before my stream. So I did Somerset right. first, and then I did clockwork city and then i did morrowind so i did everything wow you literally order. did it in the reverse order yes. yeah yeah and it was you... fine i got <laughs> that's it. the thing that's the thing right because like if you did it now you couldn't do that could you i mean can you actually physically do that yeah <clears throat> can you can you can right you can. can you you can go and do dragon hold and then you can do, go and do elsewhere i suppose could you well could you, you couldn't yeah. do the final 
story piece. Yeah. Without the, doing all the, of them. without yeah, so you'd have to do you, but you could do the main yeah. Southern Elsewhere story with uh, Lot Vulan, yeah, that story arc. But then the Kelgrantid story, you'd have Wouldn't to finish unlock. the Elsewhere and then come back. Right, yeah, right, right. Okay, so sounds like you're both happy with the way that is. Let's get into the the you know the meat of the of the thing. Um, so we started off with Dragonhold. We did the prologue quest first which was, you know, released before the DLC. The prologue introduced us to, like, a main new mechanic. Is it new? Completely new? The um, yeah. the grapple arm thing? Yeah. That is completely uh, new. Yeah. I, haven't, yeah. I haven't done Merkmire, but some of my chat have said there's something very similar. Yeah. There. That, yeah, kind of. The whole, like, mm -hmm. getting you slingshot, you know, uh, but, yeah, yeah, I guess so. It, it wasn't a major new, feature, it's, but it was it's a new not thing. new technology, but yeah. it's definitely a new like thing that they're doing. Okay. I mean, that the was other cool. one you had to like you had to do certain conditions in order to make it happen. Right. Where right. this one you actually just walk up to it and press E. Yeah, yeah. It's not very like it's very fixed. It's just like a kind. Of, it adds some verticality, I guess, to the game yeah. really more than anything else. It was like a big thing, but it's still pretty cool. There's some bits it was introduced I want it in everywhere. It was like, yeah, you want that one. <laughs> yeah. Add jumping puzzles and stuff. I mean, it was. It's really fun. Yeah, it, it is cool like that. There are there are MMOs which have some kind of verticality, whether or not it's you know mounts that can jump up in the air and do things, whether or not it's gliding or flying or something like that. You know, I can't imagine that ever coming to it. Yeah, so I don't know, unless you can fly a dragon. I don't know, that would be yeah. a bit ridiculous. But, you know, I mean, I'm not sure that would ever happen. And obviously, they need to do a lot of work in the game for that to even get close to a place to even happen in the first place. Um, but the prologue I thought was quite good. You know, Sai Sahan comes back. Um, you, you see him, you talk to him. Did, you, did either of you have the story where you killed him? Yeah. So... And this is another spoiler as I well, because I don't know. And do you want to know, T, what happened? How we came back? Yeah. All right. Does, do you mind Ninja saying that? Uh, it doesn't really. It like, doesn't really Rich, was, <laughs> Rich was trying to tell me that it would all make sense, but it's basically another one of those, hey, I, I don't know what happened. I woke up and I was here. Really? It pretty much. That's so disappointing, man. Yeah, I didn't <laughs> no. get any, like, uh, unless I missed something, which is entirely possible, because yeah. sometimes when you're streaming, it's easy to miss, like, critical dialogue that was important, you know? Okay. Um, if you get interrupted or distracted. But I never got a, a, a concrete, you know, like, good answer for how the hell this happened. Like, I killed <sighs> you, bro. You, you were used up for so I could go fight Moloch Ball. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. and, uh, you know, so odds are it was like an Azura thing where yeah. he was, you know, similar to, um, he's needed in the future. So it's just what's his face, uh, no shirt guy from Somerset who, who, oh. uh, is, is like the, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, Meridia, yeah. Meridia champion guy. <sighs> the really cheesy Knight. dude. He's good though. Yeah. Oh, what's his name? And he dies. Uh, Darian. Something is it Darian. Like, is it something like that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know. I think we know who you're talking about. Darren. 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 I think it's Darian. Oh, the smile. Darian. Something. He's always got no shirt on. I like, the, I like how this is the main thing. He doesn't have a shirt. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He doesn't main have thing. a shirt on. He wants to get drunk, and he's always hitting on the ladies. That's Darian. <laughs> Remember your future. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone is like, he's, he's literally rock and roll, like pretty rock yeah. and roll. He totally is. He is. He is. It's true. And he's actually a really good character as well. Um, but yeah, so Psy comes along and uh, in the prologue. So T, did you enjoy the prologue quest? You think that was a good lead up to the to the actual um, DLC coming out? I was actually pleasantly surprised at how short it was because usually I get really exhausted by the prologue oh, really? quest. I feel like. Just on a wild goose chase for uh -huh. hours, and I'm just like, please, <laughs> like, as like uh, Merc Myers, for example, I had a bunch of quests that you could do for achievements, or I just wanted to get the prologue done so I could unlock that, and it was just, oh my goodness, <laughs> so long. It was really good. I enjoyed it. You were in some uh, some great little scenes, like temples and stuff as well. I don't know if I would. Yeah, there was some cool stuff. Um. Big areas. Sorry, T. 
it hyped me up for yeah sure. okay that's what that's what my question was it was next question was going to be did it actually yeah did it actually get yeah, you excited definitely. for what's coming up okay good i'm glad and the same with you ninja as well made you excited yeah i thought it was pretty come. good i mean the the prologues are always um sort of inconsequential in my mind like they've never really made me feel like oh man i can't wait for the next prologue it always they uh, they're good this one was the best one yet in terms of pacing yeah i agree it wasn't nearly as uh go here collect this thing go there collect that thing <laughs> a, a, a run a, you know a marathon across tamriel to find four baubles to unlock a door yeah to then go find six more things you i mean know? that was kind uh, of in the main they wanted to save that for the actual dlc itself so. yeah <laughs> so uh, yeah i mean <laughs> it was good i liked it i the, but they always leave me a little flat i mean and, and i get that the, the you're you're gonna invest all the wow factor in the actual thing right so of it's course. more like a, i just wanted to get my memento and be out you know and they they did add that new mechanic to to like that prologue as well. So they kind of introduced you saying like you know this is kind of something yeah. which is going to be played. So that was yeah. quite cool. So that was nice. That was like you know we got some different stuff. So let's talk about God Jesus. Or I haven't even talked about the bloody DLC yet. Yeah. Um, the DLC itself. Um, it arrived. Uh, this this is the last one as well. Um, yep. In terms of God, where do I even start with this? I've got a little bit of a generally, generally, very generally. Did you enjoy it? Yay or nay? Was it fun? Was it fun? Was it fun to stream? Was it fun to play off stream? If you played it off stream, was it just? Was it just? You know, was it a bit boring? Was it fun? Simple question. one of you <laughs> oh, no, you actually t you know oh, did I miss my name? no 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 i was gonna i was waiting, I was waiting for one of you to go, go. oh my god okay. oh. <laughs> t, you go yeah <laughs> okay um yes i i really enjoyed it i usually wait until console players get the dlc but i was really um... impatient i'm actually happy i did i might do it in the future cuz it was um it was really nice to uh, like a lot of my viewers weren't planning on doing the questing stuff so they kind of lived watched. it for you yeah, yeah. and That's they nice. got emotionally invested <laughs> yeah right yes. that's true that's true and I'm thirsty sure. and we all and thirsty. yes and thirsty <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I remember it your was, tweets uh, doing that too. <laughs> it was an interesting <laughs> couple days of streaming. So it's so like <laughs> Uh, you guys, you guys can Google first day. I'm not going to start explaining that phrase <laughs> on the, randomly on the podcast. Uh, I don't feel like that's appropriate. So generally, T is very happy with how it went. We're going to go into more specifics soon. Yeah. But Ninja as well. How did you feel generally? You enjoyed the whole thing? Yeah, I loved it. I thought it was great. I I only streamed the first half of the quest, and then I did the rest of it off stream. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I. I also used to always wait for the DLC, but this time I'm like, that. I got no dun new dungeons. I have no new arena. You know, I don't really have anything to do with this new DLC. So uh, yeah. I may as well just get in there and do the quests. Yeah. But the um, streaming and, and questing is sometimes hard to do because you're doing a lot of like waiting for dialogue and a lot of like, you know, then you respond. And so I, and and as we started to get into i started to sense some pretty cool like moments and i thought yeah maybe i'll just finish it on my own kind of yeah. thing rather than stream it because the the storylines that this time i thought were more epic than usual like there were some really and i and so for me i thought you know what like one of my favorite things to do is to turn off all distractions and just really get into it and listen yeah. to the, you know, pay attention to it. And when I was streaming, I was getting pulled, my attention's getting pulled. And so I wasn't as connected and to it. And you're getting so. sobs and there might be bits and stuff. Yeah. And yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. So I ended up uh, finishing it off stream and uh, absolutely enjoyed it. Like really, just really, really liked it. 
it was it was so well done. The the whole Latvilan thing I thought was interesting. Um, that fight was pretty cool. How they made it feel like uh, on the one hand it was not challenging, but it actually but it did actually feel like a confrontation instead of just a you know go in and three shot the the guy and you're like wow. boom go turn it in there, like it actually yeah there was like phases of the fight and stuff right yeah so I'm it actually felt like it. you had like a, a an actual like event to the fight was not hard or challenging but not also you couldn't just go in and face roll it and be done and then be like well that was that's that you know it's like so many quests you go in and you kill the guy so quick especially if you're already doing end game content none yeah. of these the world world encounters are challenging you know with good reason, you know, because a lot of players who um, don't do endgame trials and aren't up on the metas and the things and are, you know, struggling to stay alive and, and get through the content as it is. So I, I get that. I was fine with it. Uh, I just was happy to see that they got creative in how to create an encounter that was really fun, but um, um, not tedious as well. It was cool. I liked it. Really well done. Okay. So what I'm going to start with um, as well is we got, we talked about what we generally enjoy it. And yes, I did. I did and also enjoy it very much so. One of my favorites, actually. Clockwork C was probably one, probably if not my fa most favorite one up until now. But this has probably been it. I just like Clockwork C because of all the, you know, kind of robots and gadgets and stuff. Yeah, it's just, it's, I just like that kind of stuff. Um, and it was nice to see in the SO. It was a nice little change up. But like characters wise, and I've got on the screen, if you're watching the VOD, I've actually put some, some of my personal screenshots in because this, and I can tell which of my favorite ones are because I take screenshots. T does as well. I'm sure Ninja does at different points in time. But my God, I think I've taken more screenshots of this DLC than I've had the entire game. Up until now, it's madness. But then in this in in this screenshot I'm talking about right now, I got Sai, uh, and that's Casca, 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 yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, who who was your some of your favorite characters in this start of UT? Who did you who did you enjoy the most? <laughs> <laughs> um, who did you? I uh, adopted you Zaji. Zaji, okay. <laughs> He's the um the small Khajiit cap. There he is. Yeah. Aw, <laughs> there's my son. He's so good. He's my son. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> he is. He is um such a pleasant character to have on the adventure. He's like we have like Sai, you know, and like Tosca, who are super um like business oriented yeah, they, they are look... <laughs> so very like we are ready to put our lives on the line and zaji is like you find him drinking in a tavern at one point and he's like yes i am a dragon guard time to celebrate <laughs> and, yeah. and he's you're just like and then he has a uh you find out that he's kind of been uh disowned by his very tiny elfique mother who is a mm. well respected uh Canarthi priestess and she just tells him off about like how could you have done this well and he's like and he's like oh, i'm never coming back to the temple again and he has a, a little redemption arc and everything oh look at he's so cute look how small he is he's so good <laughs> <laughs> and awesome. his voice acting by the way was so good it makes me sad when people click say the quest because like even if you can read it fast just listen to the dialogue it's, it makes it a lot more immersive and he's you can tell the voice actor had so much fun with him it was it was a very yeah the voice acting was very good for him it's always you know we we talk about like the the voice acting in this game, and it's like every single time we're just like, <clears throat> yeah, it's just good. It's just always good. Like, what what do you want me to say? It's, it's not yeah. going to ever be bad, is it? I don't think they could ever make like this is the problem. I think every every time they literally come to the standard with voice acting, where it's just like, 
no yeah. matter who they get, yeah. even if it's someone you've never heard of before that's not really been in like a major like game. And you're just like, who who casts this? Who is that? Who is that person that casts this? Because it's just like it's just so. Um, good. I think he was the um voice actor of uh that little skull guy in the Sigic quest line. I can't oh, remember his name. Um, oh god, what I is that? I can't remember his name. But Someone but yeah, they have the same voice actor apparently. Very Which good. didn't surprise me once I heard it. I was like, wow, yeah. that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> They're very talented. Yeah, the Augur Obscura or whatever it was. There yeah. you go. I see the Talking Skull. The Augur. Also, um, I can't remember the dragon's name, but we called him Dragon Dad. Nafilar. Um, Dragon yeah. Dad. Nafilar. Oh my gosh. I, like, the entire... The entire season of the dragons, and then like, why there can't is. we just be friends with one of the dragons? And we get a friend. <laughs> we got right? a friend. He's so good. I really liked him. His voice was amazing, and I feared for his life the entire time. I was right. like, Please, like he don't was hurt one. Dead. He was one of those characters where you just like, please never die, please. Because you are my right. dragon I friend. To protect them all. I wasn't like, I'm like, nobody's allowed to die. Maybe, None maybe what them. we should they do is, all... rather than like going for, maybe rather than like asking you both your favorite characters, maybe I should say how you feel about both of them. Because otherwise, we could go back through. So okay, we'll start with we'll start we'll start with Zaji, <laughs> and like because because he talks about Zaji, I think that's probably a better way of doing it. How did you feel about Zaji? Did you did you like Zaji Ninja? Oh yeah, he was great. He yeah. was hilarious. Uh, I found his, he was the comic relief of the, because to T's point, Sai Sahan is insufferable with his seriousness, <laughs> and I make fun of him all the time, because he's always like, I'm Sai Sahan, and this is serious business. They're like, he can't freaking relax. <laughs> there, right <laughs> just, there. That screenshot. Like Look at him. Yeah, yeah, he's just always like that. It's just like, dude, have a beer. Chill out for a minute, okay? <laughs> We're not fighting dragons at the moment. We're just talking. But And Casca, but I thought Casca was... At least she has really good sarcasm. You know, she's got a dry wit. Yeah. You know, so that was entertaining. Where Sai is just boring as, like, he's got to be the lamest dude to talk to at a party. Like, and so, like, <laughs> damn, bro, you're bringing down the vibe. Can you just, you know, relax? Smoke yeah. some weed or something? <laughs> but, uh... <laughs> Maybe you did that. A little that. bit of a giggle going, Gene, Pete yeah, die. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he's, 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 got, he's definitely got this, uh... yeah, yeah. seriousness. He's I a mean, sweaty tryhard. He is the sweatiest <laughs> tryhard of all Tamriel. You definitely need to, um... yeah, you need to have that, though, don't you? Because you can't have the, you know, rough without the smooth and all that kind of stuff. It's it's kind of important. Yeah. You definitely need to have that. Um, what about what about the? Did we go on to the? Was it the dragon we were talking about? Nephila talking yeah. about next. I mean, when Nephila he came was my in. Favorite. Oh, when he came in as well. When you saw so when he was flying around in the air and just like and whenever yeah. he was there, you could feel this like presence. It was it was like the voice yeah. helped and just like how big he was and he kind of almost felt like he curved around. The entire like area that he yeah. was in, he was like you know he was dominant. He was like a, I mean look at this guy. I got some really awesome screenshots of this guy, but damn, majestic. He definitely fills a room. That's for sure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so what did you feel? I mean, T, I, T, I, I know T liked him. <laughs> no, I loved him. He was my favorite, uh, yeah. and his lore is really fascinating because. Na Nafilar is like he already exists in the lore. Like he's not a he's not a new Xenomax thing. Like he's Nafilar. We knew about Nafilar. So yeah. to actually get to meet him, and there is some interesting connections because Tiber Septum's secret weapon was a red dragon named Nafilargus, who also uh, was known for allying with humans and um, helping the humans with uh, things that he felt would also benefit him. Um, and, but they've got different names. So there's, there's theories that Nafilar, because of whatever intrigue he's got among dragons and why he chooses to ally with mortals all the time in order to protect him from dragons, um, 
likes to go into hiding and likes to help humans when it's going to benefit him. And uh, that was sounds awfully familiar to the Nafalargus storyline of uh, Tiber Septum and his alliance with uh, the uh, Imperials. So I just find it a fascinating opportunity to live, you know, some lore and actually have a conversation with this epic creature who yeah. has for hundreds of years has had critical points in the Tamriel story arc in various points of history um, and like truly impacted and unarguably saved the, uh, the mortal races of Tamriel a couple of times or yeah. more. So I, I just thought it was really, really cool. Something to kind of dig into and add it to his mystique and his gravitas and his, you know, just general sort of uh, epic aura. Yeah. which made it feel like he was truly not just kind of thrown in there as a plot device, but truly like a, a strong character that actually did help us defeat uh, Cal Grantid, if you consider how, as well as Latvalon. But Cal Grantid was poised to truly be a threat that nobody was going to beat, you know? Um, well, you had to team up with the dragon, right? Yeah, so there's no and way not you... just any dragon. It has to be a dragon like Nafalar that has true, like, is, like, on another level. He's, like, He's a next level dragon. Yeah, yeah, so. Yeah. And he has to cool. willingly give that, like, yeah. part, kind of partnership over, right? Like, he has to give it has to be his, in give his, his interest. Share his power, right? And, yeah, like... Yeah. I, I I did wonder at times. I was like, I wonder if they're gonna. I was like, please don't let him turn into a baddie. Do you know what I mean? I was like, yeah. Oh, there were times where I was like, and I think that's why I liked him quite a lot because he was. It was very at the beginning. It was like Sai didn't really want to team up with him. You could tell, and you could tell the dragon probably didn't really like Sai that much to a degree, but not as much as Sai didn't like like maybe potentially team with a dragon. Yeah. Um, and there was that kind of relationship, which I thought was you know tentative. It was quite cool. Um, and you know he was generally kind of he kind of reminded me a little bit of a <laughs> it wasn't it wasn't like a teenager, but I don't know. It was a kind of a bit moody at times. <laughs> I don't know if that makes yeah. any sense. Um, but I don't know. Just, just generally, I think he was solid. Like the voice acting was perfect. You know, this really deep kind of voice that was just so grounding. And it was, I don't know, you could really sense his presence in the game. It was like, it was probably... Super humbling to be around. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good way of saying it. He knew he was way more powerful than like anyone there, and he kind of strut it. Like whenever <laughs> Sai was trying to kind of be assertive, he's like, "Oh hush, yeah, <laughs> I'm standing like... right here. Why are you talking smack about me?" <laughs> he even says that at one point. Sai yeah. keeps going on as if I can't hear. Everything just said yeah yeah yeah. and they're just like i can i'm literally here um there was there were other characters uh as well in the dlc there was uh was it alia alia remnus or remnus? i loved her uh, the general's daughter she tried she did try she did try i mean and <laughs> she i liked it though because yep. it was a cool uh storyline on how you know she was trying to find a way where find where she fits in where she could bring value and feel like she was you know truly pulling her weight which i think was a uh an in, an endearing quality to have this general's daughter who's obviously in the shadow of a very famous powerful dad who has done a lot of great epic things and she's trying to do good but doesn't know how to do that because she's not an epic general or a badass fighter or um but towards the end she starts to realize her worth which is that mm -hmm. she's very good at di di diplomacy and building relationships and forming bonds which is huge w in matters of state so mm. i i loved it i thought it was great See? I, I thought she was a sweetheart like she you know her dad didn't want to talk to us at the beginning yeah and she's the one who kind of hooks you up with the little pirate crew and um like the entire time she's kind of doubting herself and you know she's right she doesn't have like a lot of the strength or, or ideas maybe um that the other crew has but she she comes into her own and 
I'm happy that she stays with the dragon guard at the end mm. instead of going back because clearly she wasn't really happy there. So, like, all of them kind of go through that where they're kind of wayward. Mm. Uh, the kitty cats were too. They were not very, like, you know, Zaji mentions that he wanted to go on an adventure, but he didn't have any money, so they basically just became a smuggler. <laughs> But, yeah, and, yeah. Um, <laughs> that was easier. So, like, <laughs> yeah, so they all these very unlikely characters end up getting some sort of purpose and, you know, kind of have playing their part. She definitely was. I also really liked her voice acting, too. She was, like, super meek, and uh, they, they played it really well. She's a very humble little character. I liked how each of the characters, too, clearly had this moment of, oh, shit, this is serious business. We're not goofing around <laughs> yeah. anymore. We like have to fight that. dragons, y'all, you know? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this pretty. So they all sort of had this moment of dialogue with you as the player of, like, oh, crap. This is, like, what are, what are we doing? Like, what did we sign <laughs> up for? This is nuts. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I loved it. So well done. So well done. And Lavulon, the, I, the black dragons that we're seeing now, oh, yeah. so good. So cool. It was a lot. Yeah, Lavulon, which I, I need to dive into his lore a little bit more, but yeah. there was hints in the story that he was more than just a dragon. Like he almost like he was some sort of embodiment of some other um, malevolent force. So okay. I, 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 need to f I couldn't find anything before the podcast, but I'll keep digging because Lavulon was an interesting... There were several moments during that quest where it was referenced that he was more than just a dragon. Like there was um, maybe some sort of Daedric or even um, Void influence um, right. or mm. control or or power involved with Latvillon. So really, really cool stuff. It I like things that in the story, especially in ESO, Elder Scrolls in general does a really good job of this, is of giving you the story but also giving you a hint at a deeper you know storyline that you may or may not be able to find the answer to or you may be able to find multiple answers to and gives you this air of mystery and wanting more and then it makes it really exciting if that if that information gets revealed again at a later date somehow you know oh, it, it just yeah. really gives you know the the world a living that there's so much more going on than just what's happening right in front of your face and yeah. um and and it's going going to continue to go that way and it, you really get a sense for that out of a lot of these storylines i love that i hope so it's it is nice when little tidbits kind of come back and yeah you can just relive that those moments almost and yeah, yeah. it just continues on to the future that's very very true um <clears throat> how about the crew the crew of the ship there's some funny mo i can't remember the names for for the life of me i just remember there was one Khajiit who was just like um, Shizbari, the cheery one. Was it Shizbari? <laughs> was the lion? I can't remember the lion. She said I was, it was. It was very good. Yeah. But yeah, they were the crew were kind of just the supportive kind of support actors, I guess, and actresses that kind of just added to the, uh, I guess, the general enjoyment of of the crew and whatnot. I'm I'm looking through screenshots now, and I'm just like uh, seeing if I can find any because my slideshow is just buggered up. Um, because I did actually want to show. Uh, did any of you surprises. encounter the dark elf wandering around the new yeah. dragon guard complaining <laughs> about how he got sent there and he hates yeah. it? <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why? Yeah, he's <laughs> all mad at his dad because he made him come be in this stupid dragon guard. It's so funny. <laughs> that was funny. He's walking around all forlorn all the time. So true. So, I, was so wait, what was the what was the name of Zaji's mum? Oh yeah, what was her name? Um, she was hilarious. Yeah, that could probably help us here. Um, but she was great. I mean, she was she was like uh, I've I've got a screenshot of her as well. She was um, I had after a while her voice kind of grated on me a little bit, but you know she thankfully wasn't in she wasn't in it like that much. Um, you monster. Did you, Fight me! Oh really? She she did grab me a little tiny bit at different times. I was just like, oh my god, she, she does a kitty. She, she can't. Just, I mean, I just she I can't know. help that her voice is a little scratchy. 
<laughs> it was just the times. I still loved her. I thought she was great. Um, especially like when you got like you saw her in a hat and stuff. She was cute. You know, I like the cat. This is there's nothing wrong with this. I'm not upset about the cat. Um <laughs> Don't be sad at me. Um, but this whole area that she was in uh, with... I, I mean, I don't know. What is she... Is she... <laughs> oh, God. I'm going to show lots of cats now. But this this whole area... <laughs> I was in this area for a while. <laughs> like, if you know what we're talking about, this is Zaji's mum. And basically, they're kind of estranged because he stole something <laughs> from <laughs> from the temple. And a he... A very valuable relic. Yeah. He used to... It. Go on. Not good. You can continue if you want. Oh, I was just saying, he stole an incredibly valuable relic that kind of um, helped the Karnaisi priests uh, communicate <laughs> yeah. and get information. And apparently it's just been gone. So that's... Kind of <laughs> 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 yeah. Which is kind of hilarious because they're just hanging out at the temple now without anything yeah, to do because like, Zaji totally took the thing. I know, right? <laughs> like, what were they doing all this time? Just well, this around. one was sleeping. Uh, yeah. There, there's everyone calls that a small T because it's a little, a little elf beak with a blue hood on. Right? Oh, really? <laughs> I hang oh, out wow. with that one. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right. You're gonna have we to go and watch the podcast. There is, there is a small hooded blue, blue hooded tear. Uh, Little mini Khajiit, um, there, thing of a joke, um, in this area. So this is this is one of the areas in uh, the actual DLC itself. It's actually a, I guess it's like a mini. It's just a mini instance, isn't it? You do, you do have to go through a door to get in there, but it's outside. And generally, the map is pretty nice as well. We'll probably get onto that. Actually, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna, she can just go through the screenshots and just do that. Um, the map was nice and open. Because you did have to go into the map at times to go into the story. Um, I enjoyed it. I, I, one thing I enjoyed was the map when you when you when events change, like they do in the the base game anyway. Um, and not many MMOs actually do this. Like the actual map changes just for you, right? In that in your mm -hmm. instance, like people can't yeah. see what you're seeing a lot of the time unless they progress to that part. Um, and I can't remember if you could see this, if you guys can see the actual screen. Like, is it, this is the Calgronti, is this the Calgronti yeah. shieldy bit? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's where he, his, I, uh, I forget what the name of it was, but it was his, hard, right? Yeah, that, that's where he used to live before yeah. he got locked away, before Abner Tharn's dumbass let him back out. Mm. That was silly. Which, well, we wouldn't have got this content if he hadn't, so. True, so. I guess we. <laughs> guess he's okay. We'll let I guess. Yeah. Time. But is he dead? Well, well this is the thing. Isn't I don't it? think so. This is the thing. We but didn't is he see dead? A body. I don't know. It's true. We didn't see a body. So. Even Dragon Dad was like. I'm Maybe. Sure. Yeah. We'll have to wait and see. I mean. I mean. The whole entire quest line, Abner Tharn, well, even in Elsewhere, was alluding to this idea that he's tired and weak and having trouble keeping up the way he used to. Yeah. So they were kind of like hinting at it. And I kept thinking, like, this feels like an awful lot of foreshadowing. Like, they, they are really yeah. driving home this idea that he is n n uh, not as strong as he used to be, that he is... A much weaker than his former self because it seemed like at any moment they took a they took an opportunity to remind you that he is just not the badass that he once was so sorry nephila uh what's that wait who are you, who are you talking about I lost, I lost Tharn. yeah oh fun sorry yeah oh good yeah, lord yeah, yeah. Yeah, so mm. the whole st all through elsewhere, northern elsewhere, and then all through this one, like he's constantly complaining about how he's like weak and tired and out of energy and needs your help and you know blah 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 in his snarky way. Mm. Um, so I actually was not shocked to, uh, when we got to the point where he's all like, "Go save yourselves! I'm gonna <laughs> do the thing." I was all like, "Yeah, yeah, you're waiting for it." Arn. You're yeah. waiting for it. Okay. But then, then, uh, but then in typical Elder Scrolls style, we don't get a, th there's a, some loose ends 
so we've we've tidied up Count Granted, but now we have a new question: What the hell happened to Admiral Tharn, and where is that going to come back? And you know, in the future. So, uh, and are we going to have like an Abner Tharn, you know, sort of Jedi ghost kind of encounter? Yeah, right. <laughs> in the future, you know what I mean? So I died, but I'm kind of here. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> that kind of thing. So, and other other things like, will we get such epic artwork as this map <laughs> drawing? <laughs> yeah, I tweeted that out. I that know guy you should did. Totally get a job at I Google. saw it. I saw. It. I was like, I just, I just done the quest on stream, <laughs> and then I saw your tweet, and I was like, yeah, I should have tweeted that out. But <laughs> like, too funny. So good. Like, this is um, you're gonna have to watch the vod again if you're listening to this. But there's a drawing that happens. Basically, someone describes about how you wear the. I can't. What is it? Where the? I can't remember what it. What part of the story is? There but, is a um. There is a. Khajiit that goes missing. Yeah. And um, yeah. you're going to investigate to see where she's gone. and Because you're trying to get into is... the... You're, you're trying to infiltrate the thing. So you're trying <laughs> yeah, to find a recruiter. Yeah. That's oh. right. And this very, very intoxicated Khajiit is like, Here, I'll draw you a map. <laughs> that's, <laughs> Honestly, that's, that's, that's good. <laughs> to how the, and I like how Casca's <laughs> like, I'm not even going to try to decipher that mess of a map that you wrote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and someone just pointed out in chat the coffee stain as well. I didn't even yeah. see that. I didn't even yeah. notice oh, yeah. that. Oh <laughs> Just like so the good. ring, the coffee so ring. Good. Yeah. Okay. Well, I like the little the little guard standing in front of the yeah. castle there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's well, detail, man. That's like full guard. Very highly detailed boat. Those are I just, nice. But yeah. what the heck is those things with the little knobs on them on the bottom? I can't, I is that a wall? A I'm not it exactly like sure. A wall, I, I think that's the gate. It's a gate. Okay. It like it's kind of so easy. funny. It's a great. It was. There was. This is. This is what made it very. This is. <laughs> I. I found this very DLC, and this is a word I will use. Charming. Very charming. Yes. <laughs> yeah. It was. It was really it felt nice. Like you're going on an adventure. It did instead really. Instead of like a ride like sometimes like assembling uh -huh. a crew yeah, like, and you know you've got this team it kind of felt a little bit like the first like the original story into a degree and you're kind of forming this group of people but like you know you're still and then well, it was very similar wasn't it because you know you you got the mask right so if you, if again you know as we're all talking about this we all know what we're talking about we're talking about you know nephilim and you have basically combined your forces and you go on this hunt to get the mask of uh name you one of you guys know the name what's the name what's the name Is of the it, mask uh, i don't remember um, the it's not God. i don't actually know what it's called we called it the big lighter because you held that, it up to what? things and it set it on fire <laughs> oh my really God. Fancy we are the worst we are the worst. I'm going to show you all a picture of it on the stream. So, you know, I'm talking about Allah. I'm going through amazing epic uh, screenshots. Aww. There we go. You go and get the She's mask so from someone in chat knows. Come on. What's the mask called? <laughs> anyway, you have to get this mask. And it's um in this place. Jadari's mask. Yes. Oh, thank Jadari's. you. Yes. Okay. Tower Dweller. You are a legend in the chat. You are forever in our What's up, Tower Dweller? <laughs> What's up, bro? Um, Jadari's mask, indeed, and and you go and you you talk to Jadari, don't you, as well in this, in yeah. this massive instance, which is just like, and and this itself, you know, is is a big, you know, oh, kind of instance this was area. Just mind blowing. Oh my god, um, I'm pretty sure I've got a screenshot of it. You have to have screenshots of that. If you didn't take screenshots. Oh. I've got the screenshots. Of Those the murals were so cool. Oh yeah, let's talk about yeah. the murals. All right, well, because this is leading up to it. Because this is actually in order. Um, but yeah, this is something. Oh god, look at that screenshot. Wow. Okay, you guys need to come and watch the vod. <laughs> like, it yeah, was just the whole really, traveling. They basically kind of walk you through the um the situation that Jadari had gone through, which is mm. not too dissimilar to what we are going through and and how she handled it. And then you find out more when you when you go to that realm and talk to her. That's right. 
yeah and we yeah the the tapestries and all that that information and when you go then when you go to the actual place and you talk to her as well and uh nephilim when you go to combine the do you combine the power of the mask in that instance i can't remember if it's actually in the instance where you do that i think he has to give he gives you he, his power like or shares yeah. it with you or whatever it is it's in that realm yeah yeah you, you talk to him and with the big golden Akatosh sleeping in the background. Oh my god. So cool. <laughs> oh my god. I tried to run over to him. So <laughs> like off stream uh, as well. You're not allowed to have any fun. Yeah. No. You also couldn't go climb up on uh, Nafalar's back. I tried so hard to get up on that platform oh, to see I if know. I could go or run up on his. I got to <laughs> juggle with him. He was sad. Yeah. That's pretty cool. And that's right. You I was afraid out. he was going to eat it at that point so i was like we need to take serious shots just in case but i really did enjoy these tapestries like this art was really cool i want to get this and put it on my wall like some of these images uh it's always really good like you know we're talking about it's talking about them it's predicting like talking about the past right and then obviously you know how they caught dragon before um, using the power and the mask, and how because Jodori died, right? Um, yeah. So putting the dragon away before Dragon Dad doesn't doesn't grant her the power. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and it causes her to die, and so and he's, he's, he, he's kind of reliving what happened, and he makes a different decision this time around. Yeah, because he's all like, well, that didn't work out because here we are fighting Latvila again. How about we yeah. do the thing so that we can actually win this time? Let's do that. Mm -hmm. Didn't, wasn't, it wasn't the best. And this, he's kind of sitting in this area because he's just been defeated, right? Oh. And he's, he's not feeling too well because he's just been hit. Um, and he's actually in, uh, wait, who, who's, is this Cal Gronti's? One, or is this the no, other one? this is still Latvillan stuff Latvillan's going on. This is Latvillan's lair, right? Where he was kept for, where he was kept for yeah. ages. Um, I can yeah. get yeah, confused try. sometimes between those dragons, Jesus. But yeah, like, and it was all icy and stuff, right? Down there, and yeah, um, the area was really cool. Because you saw this whole, as you went through this area, they were like, and this is what ESO started to do a lot is um, have these really awesome kind of... They don't have cutscenes, do they? They have these off-camera things... Not off-camera, sorry. Off-center scenes occurring. Yeah. Um, and they were in Elsewhere as well, and they've been in other places. But ever since Elsewhere, it seems like they've got them more. But this thing kind of happens, and you really have to look for it. Otherwise, you're gonna, you might miss it. But it's just this epic where you feel really like... You know, you're part of this world, which is kind of, or this story, which is kind of evolving, and you have to move through it. Otherwise, you might miss it, I guess, to a degree. But um, there were kind of almost windows into different areas where you could see, you know, Nephila fighting or, you know, someone else doing something else. And yes. I just found that very awesome. Like, rather than just they've, a cutscene. They've, cool. they've done a really good job because I think ESO's tried to do that all along, but mm. um, the. But I guess the framing hasn't always been right. Or, like, um, I know, like, some of the base game stuff, they have some really good ideas, but, like, um, it doesn't do a good enough job of directing your attention in the right places. And it can kind of get lost if you're not paying attention. Yeah. For this, it feels like they really nailed down how to, like, kind of set up a composition almost of where the players are going to be looking and what how long it's going to take them to get there versus how it's playing out. Yeah. Like um, the triggers and where it triggers and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It's, um, it's very nice and it never feels like it's too long or drawn out. Sometimes, you know, the players, not they could just invested. be fighting for their no, like sorry. forever. And you're like, until you go to the next bit, they kind of move yeah. out of the scene, don't they? Like there's a bit of action and then yes. they move out of the scene and they advance to the next scene when you get there rather than they're just fighting and they're randomly slapping each other in the face until you move on. It never feels like <laughs> it never feels like it's a a like I mentioned, like a ride where you're just watching things happen, but it's happening because of what you're doing. I yeah. think is the best way of putting it. 
I can yeah, do that. Well, I, I think it does a really good job of compelling you to get on with it. Because, you know, like, uh, there's plenty... We've all played games with quests and things, and so many times I've felt like the quest dialogue is clearly trying to impress some feeling of urgency. Like, we need to get on to the next thing, right? If we don't get there in time, it's not going to whatever. But clearly, you yeah. can just stand there for hours and never... And then whenever you get to it, you can go over and do it. Where when they do it well, like in this particular one, the action that's happening, you know, is sort of like the in-world cutscene or sort of like advancing the story stuff is happening. It kind of gives you this sense of, I need to get to that they are cl oh they fighting i need to go help you know yeah. what i mean like it yeah. very very much makes you want to get to the next part of the quest and it's really really well done mm. much mm. more so i think in this one than any of the ones they've done so far See, they pulled it off really well that's the thing isn't it maybe that there's so many so many things did come together in this dlc which is why it worked so well as well because we got a hint of all this different kind of stuff they were building up to or trying to perfect like you guys are saying and then maybe it just feels like a lot of things just came together in this story that, yeah. that were yeah. kind of in no, the works I, I right um but this area was just i mean on screen right now if you're not listening to the um if you're listening to the to the audio rather than watching the video um there's what is this area called <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's some sort it's of just like the time sand behind the stars. So yeah, here mm -hmm. you talk about the sand behind the stars. This is it. This is like El Kosh's realm, and um, this who is the god of time that mm -hmm. you can the god of time. Oh, yeah, so good. So good. Yeah, that's all you. And this, this is when where Dragon Dad's like, I shall give you the power of the Bic lighter and <laughs> you. <laughs> Can. I love how I love how T is just giving names to all these things, and, and people are just gonna be people That's listening so to this are gonna be like, "What is what? <laughs> Who is Dragon Dad? What is this? <laughs> what is that?" Um, yeah, spoilers is in the title, indeed. This is all in the title of the actual uh, of the actual stream. So if you've come in we, here and you watched you, my entire we my also at the beginning of the stream oh, he's been cheeky. Cheeky. gamer we're gonna be talking about spoilers. <laughs> you've been so you've been cheeky. Um but yeah, um yeah, I mean yeah, that's a good point. I forgot about it. If anyone comes in randomly, they're just gonna see this massive spoiler <laughs> no, on like, you. Surprise! <laughs> I mean, that's the way it is though. It's been it in is, the directory a lot, this very image. This is true. This is true. <laughs> it's so shooken. I know. It's terrible. Um, <laughs> <laughs> this this place was just it was just such a contrast as well to to what Elder Scrolls leave. is. I mean it's so bright, right? Even though it's dark. <clears throat> pardon me, like it's actual like it's just it's the stars, right? I mean you're just in wherever this place is, but it looks like it's evening or night at least in, in this area. And there's like the, the kind of golden beach or the, the sand area around this big massive egg timer. Uh, and then Nephilim sitting in the water on this <laughs> plinth. It's just so godlike, you know? It's just epic. Yeah. I was like, I well, if anywhere I was going to be in that point in time in the game, it was not going to be there. It was going to, I thought it would be a dark cave somewhere, maybe some light coming through, like we've been in a couple of times. But this was. A place. Yeah. This was, was a cool. place. And there's so many of these places we still haven't seen in Elder Scrolls lore. In yeah. ESO. It changed hey, there's Jadari. There you go. Yay. And that's the mask as well that you get to that you get Her to mask. wear. Oh my good lord. The mask powers. It wasn't quite as OP as because you didn't get specific powers, did you? With the mask. It was just your DPS went up a bit, right? damage was like ridiculous yeah. and you were able to you were to call in an airstrike yeah <laughs> you kind of would just say hello <laughs> yeah. order airstrike <laughs> <Abort coordinates now. laughs> that's such a good point actually it was such a brain <laughs> airstrike never airstrike. powerful big slider to ever exist uh, yeah, I kind of, I kind of want that in most of the games now. <laughs> Here we go. You get the true idea of the size of uh, dragon background, but like this was, um, 
I mean, this is a big area. You just got, didn't kind of just pop in there. You kind of had to run through the sand dunes, right, and uh, mm-hmm. go over, yeah. go over to Nevola and and channel the do the thing. See, that's what I that's what I mean about like the the kind of shot composition that they've been working on. Like yeah. they could have just set you right in front of the the pool, right? Yeah, and right. Instead, it was like you had to yourself walk over, and then you kind of revealed what was going on. It was. One of the most memorable points in ESO, I think, for me. Yeah, you come up over the okay. dune and you're presented with this scene, and it, I'm I'm sure overwhelming majority of people delivered an audible "whoa," you know, as you come over that dune yeah. and see this. You're like, "Whoa, what the hell's this?" Yeah, so cool. It was it was a beautiful thing. Like, exactly, I can't agree with you more. But um, that that was just really fantastic to see. It's like over the dunes. Just awesome, just awesome, and the whole thing, like even just sitting in the standing in the water next to you know Nephilim, and you know pulling the mask out. Thankfully, I've got screenshots of all this stuff I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> every moment was. Screenshot. I'm not not joking. <laughs> it is literally like that, um, and it was like it was just so cool. Like I I think I spent a lot of the time. In the DLC, even in the fights, just with no UI on, just so I could try and get some kind of good yeah. screenshot. Yeah. Um, so I I actually really like this shot because I think it it kind of um, drives home the point where we were talking about how how like kind of daunting Nafalar was. Um, but in this screenshot, it's like he knows he can't do it by himself. And you can't do it by yourself. Yeah. And so he's like this very kind of fine, uh, big, yeah, <laughs> almost godlike creature is like, shoot, all right, I do need help. Let's yeah, just do it. Damn it. Fine. Here's some more lighter fluid. Oh, yeah, exactly. There it is. I, I did like, yeah. <laughs> it was like the the kind of when when you combine the mask with like you know he kind of infused uh, infused the power of it, I guess, and infused it with power. Whatever happened, I don't know technically. Um, it was just really like it was. This, it wasn't like this really flashy thing that happened. It was just these kind of like sparklers yeah. and stuff, and it just felt it felt good. Like it was a nice moment. Um and you know you kind of it kind of ended and then he left. <laughs> it was just like you've now got this mask and now you, what happens? And it looked cool. And then he just goes and does his thing. He's like, "All right, I'll see you later." Yeah, he just bugs off. He just, I got he just stuff leaves. to do. Yeah. <laughs> and then you go and use this mask, and you've got this aura around you, right? Like this this kind of yellow, pink, bright aura that is just like you are now powerful. Um, and I had it with my mixture of different skins as well, which made it look even more epic. Um, and then you just kicked ass, right? You just, you just destroyed everything. Um, and went to go and, you know, do, do one of the end fights. So it was, it was a cool moment. It was, do you feel like this is, this is what I felt like when I was playing it at first. I was just like, is this too similar to base game story in a very similar way? Or is it no, like it's I mean, pretty far removed? You mean like are you making comparison to like the to to the um, Amulet of Kings? Yes, like where you get a powered up artifact and then you. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I mean, but I think that's about as far as it went. The yeah. rest of it was like, because you know the Amulet of Kings was like, okay, chosen one, you're gonna go be a badass, and you have the power of gods, and you yeah. know, go take on a god yourself. Have and you fun. did get new you abilities know? as well, right? So yes, yeah. you didn't. Yeah, That's it completely true. transformed you into this like Super Saiyan, you know, over nine thousand. Yeah, and you went and, <laughs> and, like blasting through walls with lasers and one shotting every Daedra you run into. And That's right. Where this one was more like we have a team plus an artifact plus a dragon, like and a and an army, and everybody has to work together. And if any one of those things falls down, this whole thing could still fail. Kind of feeling to it yeah you know so and i felt more like a callback which i thought was pretty cool considering yeah. there's a lot of like companion based type stuff going on in this series of stories um 
Yeah. I think, just, didn't they allude neat. to this as well, too? Like, didn't they say this, like, later on in the story? Something about, you know, um, get, I think they kind of took the mickey out of themselves a little bit. Like, you know, going back, like, if, you know, we kind of wait, run wait, the wait. circle. Wait, what the hell does that mean? What do you mean? They took the mickey out of I themselves? I took the mickey, sorry, you know, they took the piss. Um, British. They, uh, <laughs> they kind of alluded to the fact that sometimes you might have to repeat similar themes. Like, you know, with this, the Amulet of Kings, the, the mask and stuff. They Didn't they go through something in the story when they said, like, you know, I think it was towards the end. It was something I, I remembered. It was in some of the dialogue. It might have been extra dialogue on one of the other characters. But it says, like, oh, was it? Uh, I can't yeah, I know what you're talking about. You you say something like that. Your you act your character actually, I think, has a dialogue thing where you're like, where you ask it like, is this like the Amulet of Kings kind of thing? Something what, like what that. You, something like that. Yeah. And they were like, yeah, well, if he's like, you know, you're gonna go and do this thing, you need to get an item maybe, and then it, and it continues on. It's like a circle, and you are the hero. There we go. It's um Zar Zar. What's his name? The ghosts. Flipping hell, we haven't even talked about him yet. Um, oh, the oh, yeah. The, Come oh, on, yeah. T. Shoot. You're the Khajiit. What's his name? Good lord. Uh, Kanarthi. <laughs> What's no, that? No, not Kanarthi. No, uh, no, no. No, no, no. No, the hero guy. What was it? Kunzanri. Kunzanri, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, man. Completely. completely <laughs> zero, I did not remember Kunzanri's name. I did. I just That's couldn't remember their name. Is <laughs> <laughs> the name. Don't shame us, T. You're confusing us with big lighters and things. <laughs> Kunzari he was pretty damn cool. And actually, wait, wait, wait. Let, let's talk about this fight first. I before. just felt like he was one dialogue check away from saying I'm kind of a big deal. Like Kunzari was hilarious in how like so he's good. Like, yeah, I'm amazing. So good. Yeah. Exactly <laughs> so what good. you'd expect from like a Kajidi hero. Like yeah. Oh lord, calm down. And at one point, I can't remember the dialogue thing, but at one point, he, you're like. How, can't you just like give us the thing or or take us there? And he's all like, no, you have to go through the, yeah. you have to go through the trek. That's what makes the story so epic. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> you have to do what I did. You're not getting the easy way for yeah. it. And you find you out like get, right you, out. you have to like go through the trials and tribulations so the story is good. Yeah, basically. That's, that's what heroes do. Yeah. And he comes so after funny. after the big fight with what's his name with um oh there's one of these he, fights. He's part of the Kong is Cal granted part. Yes. He's the, yes. That's yeah. later. Um, but this, this first fight, we have, so we haven't actually got to him yet, but like, uh, this, this fight here was pretty good between, wait, what's his name again? This dragon, Jesus Christ. Lavalon. Lavalon. I keep forgetting his, his name for some reason. I keep forgetting. Cal Grant is easy, but Lavalon, like, um, and the dragon, and then there's you, and there's the rest of the crew come in. There's Sai and there's Casco. Oh, man, and so so cool. It was, it was very Avengersy. <laughs> is what came to mind when that when that whole fight came along and then um Nephilim gets frozen and then he comes and fights you as a group he goes back into the sky Nephilim goes unfrozen and you kind of take turns um and that was that was actually like i think you guys were talking about this in terms of being a good fight there was actually yeah. phases and there was some danger there right it yeah, felt it like felt it. like an encounter that was worthy of the story up to this point. Like, yeah. it felt epic. It felt like it wasn't just a, you know, you just don't go in and, you know, one shot the boss and you're like, well, turn in the quest. Where's my thing I'm going to deconstruct, you know? Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> stuff That's like that in, um, in Elsewhere, where it was yeah. way too fast. And yeah. I was like, uh, like that necromancer, I felt like he was kind of tough, but not you, really. You could you could mm -hmm. mow them down pretty quickly. Yeah. Um, whereas this almost feels like they took more of a page from maybe even like a single player game where it at least creates an illusion of, oh my gosh, we're fighting, you know, right. stuff at stake. And um, when really it's it's not that hard of a fight, but no, it's just, um, it's you're just still getting to, to see everything. Like sometimes I have to stop DPSing to, so I don't cut off dialogue. Right. I'll poke them until yeah, they're like right. 75, and then I'll poke them until they're 50, just to see if there's any dialogue options, because I, I hate missing that stuff. It's so true. 
the so animation cute. whenever Lavalon froze Nafalar, yeah. he would like his wings would come up and his head would come up, but it would like this do this slow like jerking until he was like frozen. It was really cool. It really oh, looked man. like he was getting frozen in place. I really loved it. Wonder so even, really though, about him. even though it sucked to see Nafalar getting frozen. Game over, man. Game over. What are we gonna do now? <laughs> that was frozen. Yeah. Oh yeah, here's here's a good screenshot. I'm, I think it's just before this. Like he blows, he he like the fire goes onto him, and then and he comes back and just like tries the ice. It's it's so good. It's obvious contrast, isn't it? Like fire versus ice. It's yeah. just like you know, it's very um, you know, this <laughs> obvious. I was gonna say, but it, it's still cool because it's not just like you know. This is this is almost side. Like while this is this whole thing's going on, I think I almost got confused about. You know, I'm still in the back of my head. I'm like, where is Kel Granted? Like, is this the end? Like we've been doing this for so yeah. long, and they keep making, they keep saying, you know, like this feels like the end. But like almost to to the end of this, I kind of was like, okay, this could be it. And like maybe he's just going to be next year, and that's going to be Kel Granted. But then it's I like. like um then then you, there's this end right you get the mask you get the mask you get the bloody mask that was cool as a look like i thought that was really good because you don't get anything you don't get the outfit from um amulet of kings because you get the you get that funky kind of outfit don't you um but with this you actually get the core cool mask that you got as yeah as wardrobe it's yours now yeah like you actually own that thing in fact, Dragon Dad's like, hold on to that. And yes. You might need it. We asked yeah. Him again, and I'm like, oh, yes. That is cool. Can't wait to use it in Skyrim. Cough, cough, <laughs> cough. I need to take a quick cough. bio break. So yeah, go carry on. I'll be right back. Don't go to work. Go for it. Um, yeah, we've been going for a while. This is enjoyable. I'm enjoying this a lot. Actually, this is probably one of my favorite podcasts. Um, actually, they're all you so want, good. Yeah, thank you for inviting me because I have a lot to say. <laughs> no, it's fine. It's fine. Some of you guys were right talking about. So, did you did you like the map as well? See, while while ninjas. Oh while my ninjas gosh, go? it's um Black Heights. I think it's called. It's the place near um the Kajidi um Elfique Temple, Ooh. and there's like a little town nearby. It is so beautiful. It's like my favorite place in the game. It is so cozy. Like I would want to live there. <laughs> yeah, the whole the whole map, the whole map is um kind of what I was hoping for because yeah. we saw the very desert part of elsewhere and the uh, chapter. Oh, it's quite but contrasting. Not too much yeah. of the jungle areas. Mm hmm. And. Uh, it's very clear that there's two very different sides elsewhere. And um, I was worried we weren't going to be able to get to see the jungle part, which I think is the more um, mysterious, maybe, part elsewhere. And so we got it. Yes. So happy. Yeah. No, it was it was nice. I, I, I wasn't... I did get into the map on it. I was like, when I was running around it, I was like, um, the main thing I was... Because I <laughs> see this is the thing when we we'll talk about this later when Ninja comes back as well um, as as a side sort of kind of thing to the end because you know people had difficulty logging in and everything else and the city felt dead and like people were like saying oh maybe they haven't loaded up the NPCs and stuff but literally when that happened the story started to unfold about these people going missing and people mm -hmm. leaving the city and then it was like oh <laughs> it wasn't really, like it is yeah, not it's loading a city that's literally on the verge of collapsing yeah. and it also um it's also that part of elsewhere got um completely decimated because of the flu so it was already in a, a state of like destruction basically so many so many locals had died like a lot of families got wiped out and there is probably like this small amount of time where people are starting to come back and rebuild and then the dragons appear and they're like oh well yeah it was very much a point where it could have just fallen apart 
Good timing. Man. I'm back. I'm back. <laughs> It was, uh, yeah, that was, I thought that was a very cool part of this. We were just talking about the city and how it was devoid of people. Um, and I'd not got to that point in the story when they kind of started to explain about the city in, uh, in the new map and why people weren't there. They'd been taken, like, they'd been taken and he was talking about the flu and people died and people left. Yeah, like, like we an thought, flu. Yeah, we thought it was, I thought it was an issue with this. Like, people were saying, you know, maybe things haven't loaded in. There's <laughs> like, you know, things haven't happened. And it's like, okay, it doesn't feel like that, but maybe. Um, and then, you know, all these reasons came up. So it was very, you know, thinking about the atmosphere of the areas, thinking about the overarching story, what's going on, you know, people have run away from the city, it does feel kind of dead, um, you know, and there was this sense, I think I was like, why am I defending this place if no one's here? <laughs> and then they started to talk about, you know, why they were there and what they wanted to do. But then, like, when we get, so shifting towards the end after we've killed that dragon, it's like, cool, okay, we've got the mask, feels like we've got, we've got the skill point, you know, there's a couple of things, you know, that's Not it. Finish the DLC. Yeah, we're done. Um, but no, uh, a friend, an old friend, as uh, was it Sai says that? Like he says, and you should go up and talk to Nephilar. Um, and you're like, oh, there's Abner Farm as well. That actually bugged out for me because I completed the Latvulan story and I then I was like, wait, so what about Calgranted? Because it like Sai showed up. Like, so at the end of it, you talk to Latvila or to Nafilar and, you know, da da da, we won, yay, here's your tablet to open the other house thing and your whatever. Yeah, and the Sai, tablet as well. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. And Sai shows up and he had a quest dialogue over his head. Like he was, but then it disappeared. And when I talked to him, he was just giving me like generic oh. answers. So um, I was confused, and then I was like, "Well, that's it. That's weird. Where's the Calgranti part?" And then um, a couple days went by. Back? Yeah, somebody told me they're like, "No, no, no, that's a bug. You go back, and he'll yeah. have the quest." And sure enough, that's what happened uh, to me as well because I didn't see it at first, and then I went out, and this is where oh, my I got, really? this is why I've got a random yeah. screenshot there because it didn't like. But it was okay because I didn't realize that because I just went when I went back to go and see if I'd missed something. He was just there, and I just thought it was that was the way it was supposed to be. So I didn't actually know that that was a bug. Um, oh, <laughs> it wow. was it was okay. Like it was still I didn't feel that weird to me. But like you know, um, it was still cool. But like you could have missed it maybe. And maybe if you're listening to this and you haven't done this bit, n second spoiler warning. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big one. <laughs> don't there, listen. If you don't, if you need to know this, then there's. This is additional. So you, so you, what do you have to do to get to this point where you can play the next part? What do you need to? What have you? What you have to have to completed done? the main storyline in Northern Elsewhere, mm -hmm. and then you have to have completed the Latvulan storyline in Southern Elsewhere. And then Sai Sahan tells you he got a communication from Abner Tharn, and that's troubling to Dalphalar. And at that point, you start the Calgranti final installment of the Season of Dragons storyline. Which is really the... Uh, the I've, capper. Yeah, it is, <laughs> it is really the, the end. It's like... Wow, I did not expect this at all. This was like out of left field. I was just like, what the absolute hell? There's Abner Fun, there's more tapestries, there's just these epic, these epic tapestries, the oh, new man, moon, the right? Tapestries. Oh, man, this is great. I want this as a furnishing. I hope you can get it. I'm too lazy to get the achievement furnishing. Yeah, this is cool. I mean, if you've done it and you're listening, it's all it's the new moon like cult group, um, kind of around one of the green. What are they called? The green like um, the Eon Stone or Aeon something like Stones. that. That's Aeon right. Stones. Aeon Stones. Right. Yeah. Um, which the you know uh, they kind of the the stones They're like siphon really fancy soul gems yeah but they basically. siphon the new moon people don't they and the energy from them goes yeah. into the stones and then Calgrontes gets this power from the stones so essentially they're killing themselves to give him power which is like yeah i mean um, souls are are, are power sources in tamriel mm. and 
So, um, you mentioned earlier there's like a little storyline with a with a a lot of people going missing, and one of the people you're looking for, she's like super weak, sickly, uh, Kajiti girl, and her mom's terrified. Because she left her a letter basically saying, well, I'm going to go join this cult now. And at least <laughs> yeah. I can be you. And she's like, sorry. oh my gosh, what does she mean by be of use? And yeah. she's basically going to her death. And Yeah. She doesn't um, know though, does she? I don't she know if she know. knows. I don't think she does. Because she's seems... not like anybody does. Like she I mean, didn't. She when didn't you, when you... excited about yeah, it's it. Yeah, true. I don't think anyone did. Did they really? Until they come to the moment, and then they're kind of like there, and they're like, "Well, you know, I might as well." Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, shit, basically. Yeah, and, 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 <laughs> oh god! You it's actually the end. have a chance to save her. Yeah. And she was tell her like, "Look, your mom's." Terrified. Yeah, if you have the persuade dialogue, then she goes home, which was nice. I was able to save her. Oh, you could actually, like, not save her? Oh my god, you didn't save her? No, 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 I, I did, her. but I'm saying, like, could you, oh. was there an option to yeah. not save her? Like, yeah. would, yeah. would you, you have to have persuade. Yeah, if you what? don't persuade her to go home, then she goes on with it. Does she, though? GG. Yeah. Oh god. Okay, I kind of want to do a replay. <laughs> Just for that. I mean, that might he take a while. He wants to kill the weak Khajiit. Oh, it's okay. No. It's just to get. Just as, I want to see the other options. Uh, but like, oh damn. Yeah. Okay. I'd feel quite bad doing that. But that was quite cool. <laughs> oh, the other mechanic comes back, doesn't it? Pushing the blocks with your light attack or a heavy attack as well, um, which was kind of. I'm over it. Yeah, I can think we, I am a bit have, as well. Can we not have block puzzles anymore, <laughs> yeah, I, please? I, it's just, it's not difficult. It's just kind of like, it took me a bit it's of a, time because it was just annoying. I was, yes. Like, it keeps it's getting not, stuck yeah. on the floor. It's buggy. Yeah. It's just like, it's a really well, cool my, thing. One of my but... viewers actually um, found a very big bug with that. Really? We're not going to repeat on the podcast, but okay. it got reported. Hopefully it gets. Oh, dear. Yeah, there was yeah. some there was some bugs of it. I couldn't progress sometimes, and I had to pull the thing back. Like it would move when on the floor, it got caught on something that didn't exist. Um, that was a little bit of a. It was cool. It was cool, but it was there was too much of it. I think that was the only thing where I was like, yeah, you know, I don't need this in my life anymore. Um, you know, when they had it in the dungeons, that was cool because it was like a mechanic. That like was part of a mechanic of a fight as well. When it was that was, I thought that was a great use of it. Um, but I didn't, I wasn't massively keen. I was like, eh, no. Um, but Abnafan, he was, uh, he was able to draw upon, he took oh, some man. of his power, didn't he? From the Aeon Stones and became quite, you know, he was able to get some energy. So this is what I'm thinking later on, because <clears throat> when we do get to that point with Abnafan, uh, which we're going to talk about momentarily, um, Actually, we'll talk about that when we get to it. Um, but he was drawing upon the fat power. He was able to get a little bit of energy back, right? Um, and he wasn't completely dead to the world, but he was still, right, like Ninja was saying earlier, or he was just, just, he was just knackered, wasn't he? He's just tired. Yeah. He's just done, right? He's just, he can't do much more. He just feels like you feel, you really feel like they're, they're selling this. They're like, get ready. You know, I'm not fun. He's gone. Like Stop He's done. doing things that are hurting you, Barn. Yeah. <laughs> I was all like, yeah, you are past your prime. Let's take you out behind the barn and put one in your head. Wow. Oh, my God. Whoa. <laughs> Holy. Well, there you go. I mean, that's the... He's an old horse, guys. He's not good to anybody. May as well just end his suffering. Just go take him out back. and. He you know. saved us. <laughs> I guess he did. Uh, I actually his, really from his own disaster. <laughs> True. I really like him. It's fun. called the redemption arc. Oh, that's true. He's had a big one though. I think his redemption arc started with elsewhere, didn't it? Like not started with elsewhere because yeah. the thing happened, but he was trying to, you know, um, 
come back. And this I was... really hated him in the main quest, but he did. Oh, did it. you? Cleaning, I up, loved cleaning him. up your own mess that you created. Redemption, a, actual redemption I mean, arc, I, or is it I, just I, doing I... what you should have not cleaning up what you shouldn't have done in the first place? <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. Well, it depends. <laughs> In the ESO, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. He, I really yeah. liked him in the base game story. Actually, I really liked him because he was just that cheeky character who was just really smarmy and like, like get out typically of here, he was very buddy. typically English and cheeky as well, which is why I liked. Um, he's a bit of an arsehole, and then, you know, <laughs> it was just like, yeah, I like this guy. <laughs> um. But he, I mean, he's still, him and Sai have some run-ins, don't they? And, you know, you can tell they like each other, mm -hmm. but they don't at the same time. And, um, well, at least the, there's respect there, I suppose. Yeah, I would, that wouldn't go that far. Mm -hmm. I don't think they like each other, yeah, but I'm they, not sure they like was the respect word, yeah. and tolerate each other f to achieve what needs to be done. Indeed. Indeed. Yeah, I, but see, that's what I think is, is good about Tharn's kind of progress is in the main storyline. He basically makes it so that he's completely removed from the equation of sacrifice so he's like well you guys need me um so you guys work out between yourselves who's gonna sacrifice yeah their life and yeah. then in this one he he's like all right you guys need to get out of here um right now and you kind of know like oh my gosh that's that's not a we'll see you later that's uh go save yourselves yeah yeah because he's, he's he's got so i thought that was cool there was this epic scene and it, again there is like this amnar is kind of like taking all the power from the aeon stones right here to try and yeah. do to try and help Looking and, and go. it is a pretty cool scene though like yeah that was pretty epic i think i've got a few a few screenshots of this maybe there you go that and he's just like drawing in this I, this power mm -hmm. and this is where i'm kind of and calgronti started humping a crystal i was a bit, <laughs> I was a bit <laughs> he kept humping crystals and <laughs> so i was like i just kept making nothing this joke phallic about this there scene was at all. nothing phallic about this scene this is very true um <laughs> where he's just kind of like this is an end scene if you're you know, listening to this audibly uh, when he's kind of sitting on one of the Aeon stones at, at the end, and you know you can see all the shield in the background, and there's the sun, and there's it's just this scene is pretty cool, and the fight is good, and there's just all this energy kind of erupting from below him, um, and he just looks pretty epic. And then, you know, you kill? Do you kill? Hey, I'm trying to remember. What that one shot to. looks like the album cover to some '70s metal band. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? The Cal Gronk. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Of that. When he's uh on the Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's totally a, that's totally a 70s metal band it's album good, cover right, right there. Yeah. It's good. <laughs> Just gotta make the sky like red or something. Did I not yeah. some lightning effects? You're good. So he dies here, or is there another part of this? No, he dies here, right? Cal Gronk seems. He's sitting on his little rock and yeah, you kill him and then and the come problem. over and beat him. Yeah, because the rocks still are full of all that energy, and if they that isn't dealt with, then oh, Tamriel goes boom. Right, wait, wait, wait. He's he's not dead. He goes away. This is when they no, start to rise up from the from the from the ground, isn't it? Yeah, there you go. Are oh, you already in the sky? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, are we? Yeah. That's why you can't no, get not. there. That's no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where, um, we we drop down. We get we drop down. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, right. So that's where we are. I thought we were at the almost thought we were at the end. End. Jesus, this is what I mean. This is what it kept doing. Yeah. Like you get into this fight and you're like, this is the end. No. <laughs> out of there and then you're like yeah. oh shoot we need to somehow get back onto the island that's right so that we can we can beat him up actually beat him again save Thorn. <laughs> that's right yeah and this is where the the even more and you you just think at this stage like how can this get more epic like we've been to the we've been to the you know we've been to the place where there's a flipping we've got this mask we've we've got you know <laughs> 
I don't know. It was just crazy. And then there's just this island in the sky, and there's this moment with Sai and um, God, I'm really bad with names, aren't I? From elsewhere, the Queen, Kamira. Kamira, yes. And, Kamira. And Kamira, <laughs> and Kamira's here as well, which is awesome. I'm really glad that she obviously was involved. She had to be. Um, and she's kind of hanging out in the dragon. Uh, in your main base, anyway, with Sai. And then you have to go and try and find a way to get up to these islands, like you guys said, which are hovering in the sky now, because Kalgrontes is just ridiculous. Um, and you and Sai go off to the public dungeon, actually, where you um, have to find out how you... Uh, there's a way that you can try and get up to this place. Uh, I'm not sure how they get there, how they find out that this is a way that in the first place that you can go like portal up there or you can find a way up to this island that is now hovering in the sky i can't remember what the link was i don't know if you guys remember um how do they know to uh, go to this temple to do something because kamira has a vision a vision that's right and this uh, this alfix kitty comes and speaks to you and she's all like that's it you're the chosen one you have to go do the thing right that's the one <laughs> yeah. Um, which, you know, I don't mind too much as long as there's no, not too much emphasis on it. You just want to get on with the story, I guess. Um, and yeah, then we're, we're with Zar. A legend. A legend who, you know. Who knows he's a legend. Who knows he's a legend. <laughs> What's his full name? Kunzari? Yeah. Kunzari, yeah. yes. So he's like a, he's like a rock and he's like a rock star, isn't he? To Khajiit, but he died a fair while ago. Um, he and doesn't this, seem to care. He's like, yeah. He doesn't you know, care, does up. he? What's up? He's pretty chilled. So like there is. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, true. There is this definite like he probably wishes he was doing these things, but he's kind of got like he's kind of happy for to let you continue to be this hero now that he used to be. Um, and you had to, this is the thing that I thought was great as well. He said you had to give his claw to Kamira. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it to, to like, for power? To She'll like, know what to do with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, yeah, just take this. So he has to give, you. He, he gives you a claw, his own claw, his dead claw, his <laughs> zombified claw, whatever. Um, to give to Kimura so that she can get some power or something like that. Or she, she can do something. I can't, I can't remember. But anyway, so, so that you can get up to this island. It's all weird. I don't know. Probably someone can explain better than I can. Definitely. Um, but the, I thought this was cool. What did you think about this, this interaction with Kunzori? Did you enjoy it? Oh, yeah, of course. It was fantastic. It was fun. My chat YouTube? sure enjoyed it. I bet. <laughs> Oh wait! Why do you say it like that? Is the first Thirsty chat. The first Thirsty chat. chat. <laughs> is it this They're pose? Like, Woo, Kumthari. It was this pose. What a wasn't swell it? guy. <laughs> yeah, he was always. I don't think you saw him in any other pose other than this in multiple locations. <laughs> Maybe he was standing up once. He's all about the sit three. <laughs> yeah, I think he was just sitting down, like laid back, kind of like woo, in my areas. Um, <laughs> uh, and then you did see. Um, I thought it was cool how you saw all the other characters in their dragon guard gear as well. That was always very cool. But then, what? Where is this? What's this place called? When you ended, how the pathway that you ended up going up to this island in the sky? What's this called? T. You said it earlier. Was, or was did you um, make up a name well, for it? I am um, maybe this is m moon path. I'm not sure it, what they refer to this in the um Sands Beyond the Stars in the actual game. Oh, uh, Sand behind Beyond the Stars. I thought that was the where um oh gosh was that? Yeah, I thought that was that. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks good. See, look, he's in the same place. Uh, yeah, he's like yeah, he's in there. And, okay, fun <laughs> fact: Did you guys talk to him when you were going up the stairs? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> Uh, the rock, yeah. Oh God, here we That's go. Where he's like, he's like, oh, what's what's the uh, what's the um Camira's um 
ancestor called? I can't remember. Um, oh, God. If you can't remember, there's no in chat remember? So, Anequina. Kunza and Ri and her were an item, in case you didn't. Oh, it, right. Okay. Yeah. And so, like, I think the third time he talked to him, he's like, oh, yeah, me and Nequia, we got it on behind that rock over there. <laughs> oh, maybe and, I didn't get that. No and way. And, like, all of our other. All of our other companions were a little bit disturbed, but that's just how Khajiit are. Is that <laughs> like, when he's? Oh my god! Is that what he's pointing to in this screenshot that I'm showing? No, no he's checking out his nails. <laughs> or is he just looking at his hand? Yeah, he's just okay. hanging out. He's just hanging out. Yeah, this. I, this... I'm not sure which rock it was. We moved on quickly because I was like, "Oh lord!" You didn't go and have a look <laughs> behind the rock to see if there's. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us all about it, Kinzo. <laughs> yeah. How did he? How was it for you? Um, is it called Kitty Style? Is it? Like, <laughs> oh, my the... oh my god! Oh my god! You can tell the ninjas he are dads. So <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Uh, you guys haven't seen our faces for a while. Um, but this whole area was really, really beautiful as well. Um, and it was just really bright and, you know, it was nice to have this kind of pathway up there. It was good that they had this rather than just there's a portal which takes you, which, you know, it could have been. But they made this area. They made this small instance. You had this nice, sweet little um, interactions with Kunzori. Yeah, like sweet little interactions. Well, I'm trying to keep it clean, too, all right? <laughs> um, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> the tea's thirsty so stream. <laughs> <laughs> uh, about that area paths yeah. are quite important in Kajidi culture you'll then you'll hear them talk about you know may the moons guide your path and mm -hmm. things like that so i thought it was really cool that they kind of included this area where, where basically it's implied you can go wherever um you would like yeah well kunza re can but you can't yes kunza re, he makes it a point to remind yeah. you that he can and you'll get lost and <laughs> hopelessly forgotten and yeah. i'm getting like somerset flashbacks i'm like nobody nobody stray off the path no one wherever <laughs> could you actually together. jump off it did anyone try uh, i didn't try i didn't try either normally i'm weird. not I mean, come on. I didn't want to ruin usually... immersion. I didn't want to ruin immersion. Yeah, neither did I. <laughs> I was just like, I don't want to die right now. This feels like, a... I mean, I'd already died like 10 times just because I'd taken screenshots. <laughs> and I didn't know how much <laughs> HP I had. I, I was... <laughs> RP walked the entire way up this path. Wow. And my chat was like going nuts. They're like, why aren't you hurt? I'm like, because I am immersed and I am going to casually walk up this very long path. Oh, you're a Khajiit, right? You gotta take it. You gotta take it in. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, right, man. I understand. Okay. It was cool. Let's go. But then we get towards the end of the path. We're at the end of the path, and there's Nephila who's standing, sitting there like an absolute monster, like literal monster. What like, a he's absolute unit. So yeah. cool. This was like the best bit where it's just like, wow, this is really ramping up. He's he looks awesome. He's just sitting on this rock and. He's ready to go. He's just like, I'm, I need to do this because I, you know, I've got the chickens in the oven. And <laughs> <laughs> I've got to finish this fire. He's, you know, I've got to make, I've got to finish dinner. Um, I've got to get out. But he just, you know, there's so many. I took a lot of screenshots. Yeah, him. this is like, this oh, is like crazy. the the back cover of that one the yeah. whole album we were talking about earlier. Like this the is the, on the, the art on the back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um but yeah he was just an absolute like you said unit basically and then you then you start taking down these aeon crystals and like uh like ninja Apple said earlier the um the nephila strike is called yeah, an airstrike <laughs> um <laughs> so good um and you have to kill two or three of those crystals uh aeon crystals before you eventually now that was actually kind of awesome as well because the damage you took was you know it was kind of substantial ish and then you know during this you know abnoir you find him um and he kind of explains what happens that he, he hid while uh everything you know after you know the the that part of the island kind of went up into the sky he hid and he was just waiting for you guys to come back um you and the rest of your team 
anyway, and there's Kimura and everyone else, and then you have this big end fight with with Cal Grunted. So, how was this? How was this fight for you guys? Did you enjoy this last fight with? with I thought it was a little confusing. I wasn't ex like there was like a they had those little yeah grappling things, and a, yeah. I was like, why? But they're on the ground. I'm like, why do like. Why do I need that? I can just walk over here to this glowy circle where I need yeah. to be. Like I was, yeah, I there's no urgency needed. Mm. for using the grapple. Yeah, hook. yeah, it was very sweet. It was, I just, it was unnecessary. Yeah, yeah. See, yeah, it was weird to me. I was like, well, I do I have to do that? that? Would, it would like activate something, right? Yeah, yeah. What I thought, but no, it's really just a mobility type of thing. Yeah. Like, we didn't get to use the grapple thing enough. We'll put it here, too. <laughs> Surprised there weren't some of those boxes we had to move around, too. Oh, no. God. No, <laughs> just like, no, no, no. It was... Uh, uh, I don't mind the boxes out of combat. In combat, they stress me out. I didn't. I knew why they put them. I was like, at first, I was like, "This is cool because you know it, it's a good way for you to get there faster." I guess so. Like, if there's an emergent, like if there's an actual need to do this quick and you can't move fast to get there, then cool. But you didn't need to, like you said, you know, Ninja. It was like you could just literally walk over to it. You don't even need to hold shift. You don't yeah. Even need to dash. I'm gonna like bet we see that in the next dungeon. Like, I have a feeling they're gonna you use that so. in combat. So that may have been like a sort of teaching a teasing. type moment where you right. see, like, here, you don't really need to use it, but you get an idea of what the mechanics are. I mean, I would like it in terms of like a platform, which you have to get to to fight the boss in another stage, and then you have to, you know, rotate around to different areas. I think that would be cool. But otherwise... Mm, that would have been cool. I mean, I'd, otherwise, I'm just, I don't know. Like, it would have to be pretty important. Can you imagine people doing it like vet mode, hard mode, like timer? And you've got to go around this map, like, doing all these stuff. I don't know if people would enjoy that. Maybe they would. Maybe they would. I don't know. I don't talk for other people. I only Depends know how on I how it's done. It could be cool, but... Yeah. yeah, sometimes they tend to be a little... Mechanics like that that you have to do um, during combat because I know it's weird. There's just no bugs in this game, but bugs could happen. And then you're trying to complete content and you've got a weird gimmicky thing. You got to click on to grapple around in the middle of the fight. And if it doesn't yeah. work right or if it bugs out, then you fail. You know, that's frustrating as hell. So I hope I it's like not the, a... the grappling was pretty reliable. But like you said, what if like four people are doing it at once? Yeah, and... exactly. Yeah. Or 12. Yeah. 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 Oh, God. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they could they could fix that maybe with like a larger, like target. Oh, feel like a really big target instead of a little sad post. Yeah. So then, Abner, this could be the last time we see him. He helps you escape. I hope so. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he helps you escape with Nephila as well. Oh man, this part was look at how cool this is. Oh my god. Yeah, it was I cool. I didn't want to leave. I was like, oh man, this is so cool. But yeah, I, guess, I love how you're all like, hey, Daflar, can we get a ride? And he's all like, uh, I kind of got to help Abner with this thing here that's about to blow up. Yeah. So, because this you could know. destroy the entirety so of like Tamriel, right? Like, there's the potential. Like, yeah. they kind of allude to this. Like, it could destroy, it will destroy this place, it destroy, you know, Southern Elsewhere, and it could destroy Tamriel. So, we've got to stay here, shield it, make sure it doesn't, you know, we can contain it to a degree. And, you know, Abner Fawn's He's there. He's a good dragon dad. He is a good dragon dad. But there was some epic. It was just such a good. Again, the color and the Look scene. Look at this. What the heck? <sighs> yeah. It was yeah. really good. I'm glad I stayed and took some screenshots of this because, damn. I like it because we haven't really had a grand epic scale sort of thing quite to this degree since yeah. the amulet of the kings and your confrontation with Moloch ball yeah. so it was it yeah. felt really good to have it just really just yeah. crazy over the top and you know godlike and it event. was an end story thing because the only time i can remember i think there was one moment in elsewhere when you're go just before you go through the portal to that to one of the moons i think there's a 
dome similar to this it's like the same color and i think it's the abno in, in it or someone is in it and that one of the dragons is like throwing fire down on you and you're, and you're sitting in this dome and then you can really zoom out. i'll have to get the screenshot and show you guys one day yeah i know you're talking about it's it's towards the very bit. very end of elsewhere's yeah elsewhere. but it's not like an end fight is it it's just an on the way to yeah thing. it's like yeah they're trying to open up the moon gate that's right and yeah, yeah, uh yeah. Abnar is buying time mm. for Kamir. But like it wasn't it wasn't very long, it just looked cool, but this was like ninja says kind of even more. It's just one of those moments where you can remember, like you say, from the base game, I can re still remember that story pretty damn well and all the moments from it. Um and that epicness was like is it look at Abnar how small he is as well. Like he when he's in this scene, like he's just so tiny. And there's just this massive, like just globe so of oh he was he's so powerful though, and you just feel bad for him and you know I he don't. might die no, and ninja hates ninja. him and <laughs> he does as well, I don't know. I and, think he's all right. I mean he sent okay. us a letter. He sent us a letter? Yeah, I saw his letter. Mm, he did. Wait, you sent us a letter? Yeah. When? In the mail. <laughs> With the tablet. Oh! Well, he, he, he sent some of us a letter. <laughs> oh, no, 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 I've got that. Yeah, 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 I've no, got, I've got yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I've got it in the thing. I, I was sure like, in happened. IRL, I was like, yeah, 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 I got that. Yeah, I got IRL. that. So yeah, 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 yeah. I was like, okay. <laughs> I didn't get that out of it. It's the quest. Yeah, everyone's. Uh, we've. I've shown people that. I've still. I've got it over there. Um. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, I've got that. That's cool. I actually need to put that up somewhere. Um. But yeah, we're not sure if. So we escaped. Nephilim can fly. He's a dragon. So as long as he doesn't get destroyed by the blast, you know, he should be all right. Um. But Abnar, we're not sure about where he is. And what's going on? Yeah. Oh dear. He he may be dead. He may, we may be have dead. a ghosty Jedi Tharn in the future. So <laughs> Ninja's like predicted this already. So there's actual yeah. proof. Uh in probably on his own stream as well as on this podcast that um I'm not fun is gonna be a Jedi. Yeah. And come back as a as a ghost, as as we yeah. said. So you think you think he's dead and he's gonna come back in that way? <laughs> I, that's I don't know, but that seems like if it. you look at I mean we just went look at Kunzari and look at Jadari yeah. and the you know the various ghost champions the it's the whole Tamriel the storylines there's we we deal with ghosts powerful ghosts sometimes um, all over Tamriel so it wouldn't be weird to have Abner Tharn come back as like a yeah so the thing blew up and uh, yeah. you know. <laughs> Uh, here I am, Ghosty Tharn. Woo! He's an evil. You know. He's an evil moon god now. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. Or he found some way to absorb all of that energy or some of it, and um, you know, then he comes back. And uh, there's a few ways you could spin it. You could go. He just cast some sort of spell and absorbed uh, yeah. most or all of the energy himself and then he kind of like you know Gandalf the white kind of thing comes back all like mm. super saiyan you know he's like a you know demigod powerful guy but as he uses it up as he's already alluded to earlier uh when it runs out it runs out and he'll be even weaker than he was before and he'll die so that you could have there's all kinds of ways that you could do something of that nature where the next time we have an encounter with Admiral Tharn, he helps us do something epic, but he's going to have to use all of his magical green energy. And at which point he will die for real this time, or he could come back as a ghost or he's just gone and we don't ever hear from him again. And it's just one of those, uh, Tamriel elder scrolls kind of, you know, nobody really knows what happened. Hmm. And that's uh, could be why you don't ever really hear about Abner Tharn in like the Skyrim era stuff and the Daggerfall era stuff. Uh, yeah, that's Six, true. seven thousand years later, you know, it's hard to in the fourth era kind of stuff. So hmm. who could know? Hmm. Also depends on uh, if they can secure the the voice actor. Forget his name again. You know. For, yeah, because he's quite for famous. Quest lines. He is. So, uh, yeah, he is quite a big. 
Yeah, yeah. Big guy. He's, uh, um, what's his name? Uh, well, uh, Molina, Alfred Molina, is that right? Something like that. I think. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah. Pretty he's, sure. He's like a English guy as well. There's yeah. A lot of English guys in this, obviously. And he but... does such a good uh, job. Uh, yeah, thanks, Reader Geek. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's, I mean, Admiral Tharn is one of those characters. He's a great character because you love to hate him kind of types. Oh, you know, those he's one of those. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, which is so good. You need those for the stories to be great, right? Yeah. So I don't moan having Abner Tharn, but if I'm role playing, I hate him. <laughs> of course, of course, of course. Yeah. yeah, he is a, a very talented gent indeed so what do you think t what do you think's gonna ha happen to abner fun is he is he dead is he done is he coming back as a ghost like uh, ninja said or is um, he a... just looking at a sorry point of view i don't think it's that easy to get rid of a farm from a like practical game development thing i think what ninja said is right they I think they're leaving it open to interpretation potentially for him to come back i don't think they i mean my my kind of theory moving forward is that we're going to have like a a wild companion reunion where everyone comes together Ooh. and uh, something, something, like something. Yeah, a companion orgy. Let's do it. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so, I don't know. I think they, I mean, if they if they're coming up with a reason and maybe yeah. we don't know yet what the right. reason is why i say sai is back for example yeah um maybe they're they're building towards that to he and does we might profit for yeah. example we might yeah. see barn come back because yeah. he didn't die yet technically so well, we yeah we don't know yeah, i, I think true. i think there's gonna be some sort of like crazy reunion and fun stuff coming up i mean and what is it is it lyris um Cy, the uh oh, God? lyris yeah like he's Cy says he's gonna you know go and find her and say hello to her after he saw the dragon guard out so he's got a couple and of months to do that damn it there was stuff in the um <laughs> uh was it the prologue that was hinting towards yeah. her like i yeah. guess she left her her axe i think and so obviously she plans on coming back. I mean, oh so yeah, think, no, he's going to go and find her as well, yeah. and he's writing letters to her and saying that he's safe and stuff like this. But cute. she's kind of still in the wind a bit, isn't she? As well, which is a bit, yeah, unfortunate. But yeah, he's I think he's, he's going to go find her, and I don't know. I'm still, um, I think, I think you know, I think you need a mixture between the two. There is, there is definite real like idea that he could come back as a ghost, but I kind of want to see him die, and I don't mean like in a weird way. I do too. Like I yeah. kind of want to see him. <laughs> Like, like, if he's going to die, he needs to be, like, in my arms or something. Or, you know, we're having this moment. Or he's, like, you know. In your arms? I don't know. <laughs> it's a fa like, I don't know. I don't know. Not in my arms, necessarily. Gently but... stroking his eyebrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> gently, stroke, <laughs> gently stroking his, you know, comb over. Awkward moment <laughs> where neither of you know if it's you should kiss now or not. <laughs> 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 we all know the answer to that question um <laughs> <laughs> and uh um yeah and now i don't know anything else about life <laughs> i don't know what to think about anything where are we um <laughs> let's go i'm gonna put a dragon on the screen before i go red um <laughs> that's easier um there he but is. uh yeah, yeah there he is um it it, it would i would have to be something like something like that for me i think he would not the the arm holding and the you know the kiss but, i mean maybe i mean you know as long as it's not me um and uh he's just he's just not a looker <laughs> is he he's not a looker is he really he's not very handsome um and well i don't know maybe his armor looks cool um but him himself i don't know old for me um and i don't know i would i would like to see that maybe come back as a ghost cool i reckon that would be sweet if they had like a new companions kind of situation <laughs> i mean you know no reason at all 
no reason at all why I would like the new companions to come together and, uh, <laughs> you know, uh, be a thing. <laughs> Not that. Anyway, before I oversell that. Um, <laughs> but, um, but it could be really cool. I think, you know, how do they... What? Where the fuck do they go from here? I mean, I swore on my own podcast. Well done. Um, like, where where do they go? I mean, this was epic. This was the end of the year. This is the last. This is the last DLC, and is the last new content for the year, right? New, as in new story, new map, no new dungeon. There shouldn't. There won't be. And will they? I mean, it's only going to be the normal festivals and stuff now to the end of the year, isn't it? I mean, yep. we're in November. Yep. Um, we got new life coming. We've got witches festival going on right now. There might yep. be an anniversary in there somewhere. Uh, yeah, something. We're, or dungeons. Or we're something. getting. Um, I think it's uh, Undaunted, and yep. then there's going to be some sort of uh, seasons of dragons thingy, in Bobby. I'm not sure what it is, okay. but those are going to be it. Otherwise. So love it or hate it, the combat changes are here until Next some point in time for for this oh, quarter. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, I mean it will be here. Yeah, um, I mean that there, there was... and if history is anything, Zenimax pretty much becomes a ghost town from here until like late January, February. Yeah, I mean there are some. I mean everybody's on, everybody's on vacation. Since, I'm yeah, insane. because the, the DLC is <laughs> out funny. and that's it now. Yeah. Um, I mean, obviously, we're, we're not assuming that they're not doing any work. We know we're not stupid. But, like, you know, it is the kind of... I mean, they deserve it, man. And if anything, this is a year. I mean, when we yeah. saw them, at, when I saw them at PAX, and you've seen them, obviously, at various times throughout the year, you obviously know more than me. But from the message I clearly got was this was a massive undertaking. They've released they four DLCs. Yeah. They've done this before. They've done four. They do the four DLCs, but not in this way. Not in this way where it's so connected, it's so in depth. All the combat changes, trying to get balance sorted, trying to get, trying to fix the game as well at the same time, and they're leading on to that next year. And that is a big year. This was probably one of their biggest years, right? Other than maybe one Tamriel. I don't know. Could be. Pretty crazy though. That's a lot of stuff. And then when they when they in the weeks, like during the release, they release Witches Festival, they release the DLC at the same time. This happens every year, I feel. <laughs> Which is weird. Yeah. Well, Usually Witches idea. Festival was <laughs> um what was it? Like the twelfth or the thirteenth? I think yeah. I I checked my my achievements and it seems to be around the time they usually start it. And it was Started way late. Was that on purpose? I mean, to just have like everything in one go. Uh, keep it short, and then now we're here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we we know that there's issues. We now know that there's more players in it in EU at least. I guess I guess we probably already knew that, but that's part of the problem, isn't okay. it? They couldn't get everyone into the servers the servers were going down there was just you know it was not a fantastic you know in, in all honesty like i mean i i didn't get pissed off at all I, I know a lot of people were upset but i'm on an a you just couldn't play right i mean you know servers were down for ages and uh like almost next day kind of thing they couldn't play the dlc when they wanted and you know we're, we all know we get a little bit like we we're kids when we get the new thing the new thing's there we can't play it because it's broken um and you know so people were a little bit upset but you know i think everything's kind of fine now but then you couldn't queue for dungeons you couldn't queue for bgs and there was an endless kind of there were issues but at the end of the day i don't feel like it was the end of the world well, i don't know how you guys I, felt the about thing that. is is i mean the dlcs get released on what monday yeah. most people don't they're not like, oh boy, my gaming day is Monday. Most people yeah. wait till the weekend. So it was a little bit, I feel like, mistimed. Because the, the servers usually struggle when we have an event. Because people are logging in, trying to get their tickets mm -hmm. and, you know, do stuff. And then on top of the, um, you know, well. people trying to get into the DLC. Yep. 
Yeah, it was really unfortunate. Mm. Nice ticket also, serving. Also, um, shout out to the the people working all weekend. Yeah. To to get the servers up, because that must have not been very fun. I know no. we saw Gina like posting in the Discord at like all hours of the night that weekend. I was just like, oh god. I would That's have been pretty fun. horrible indeed. Yeah, I mean they, they pushed out these new um looking for group changes and the memory management changes and um some other uh, performance enhancements and you know just like anytime you roll out something on a scale like this mm -hmm. internal testing having been in this situation before working on enterprise stuff it's really really challenging to uh, anticipate that. yeah slide. because yeah. in a yeah. in a test environment you're not under load and you can simulate load but it's not the same as having you know, thousands of of um, of uh, real life examples happening all at once, and yeah. then then you suddenly discover a flaw that before was masked by um, sort of artificial conditions. So it, they obviously put in some long hours to try to get it sorted, and then they extended the event so that you know to make up for the time that people might have lost from not being able to log in the server. So yeah, these like, things happen. Nice. It is what it is. You can throw a tantrum if you want, and then you know once it's fixed, get in, or you know, or you could uh, do something else for a few days while they get it sorted. And whoa, you know, save yourself. steady on that. I, I know, I know. I just crazy Bloody thought. Bloody hell, mate. I mean, come crazy on. Crazy thought. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, you're right. That's you're that right. idea. Uh, I mean, it, it, like you said, you know, it's it, so is my life. I cannot do that. Um, I mean, I get that. I get that. But, you know, mine. sometimes it's it's just. It's our lives, too. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> so It's these guys, yeah. I was going to say, streamers wise, like, it, it is a thing. <laughs> you know, it's, it's kind of what they need to like, yeah. actually earn money um, and have a business. So, it is, yeah. I mean, out of anyone, you know, the frustration was felt by by any stream like streamers and they can understand so i think you know the player who's kind of not relying this as the you know their kind of their job and what their content that they normally do um could probably felt it the most other than you know the people who are working there <laughs> and actually it's their job um yeah, they're, they're probably feeling it the most fun. just a tad um but yeah i mean is there anything else i mean that happened that's the thing you know it's getting fixed meh it's fine um at the end of the day it's gonna be it's gonna be okay i think I don't know if there's anything else that came in with this. There's side quests and stuff. I'm not really going to talk about those because we're kind of going to end now because we've gone over. Um, but was there anything else you guys would like to talk about that was that we haven't that you wanted to point out that was very awesome? Because there was a lot of good stuff. What was what was awful? Was there anything bad? Was there anything really bad that you just didn't like? Or you just not not like insult you obviously. But like something where you were just like, I'm just trying to see if there's anything that we didn't enjoy in this, in the in the I, DLC. I was, I was kind of disappointed that there is no um vet content. Yes. Around. What like a? There's that was. I feel like that was felt quite a bit. So, yeah, these story DLCs are great, but you easy. know, once you're done with the quests, then you're just left with doing dailies and. Uh huh. You but know, even so the story it, DLCs have vet content, and this time, I oh, do they? Was... What vet content? Sorry. Yeah, yeah, like Merkmeyer had oh, the uh, arena. an arena, wow. and um, Clockwork City had a trial, That's and right. you know, so yeah, there was no new like end game thing to do outside of once you finish the quest, oh, you no, finish okay. the quest. You know, what was the last story? Did it did that? Well, that was the same as well, though, wasn't it? Or was it? No, it wasn't because there wasn't one like this. Wait, it was. It was Merkmeyer. They had Black Rose Prison added. So yeah, but, but Merkmeyer had Black Rose Prison. First DLC of this had dungeons. Was it dungeons first? I can't remember. What was the first? Yeah, DLC you had no, no. you had Rathstone, Rathstone, and then you had the chapter with Elsewhere. Yeah, and then you had a uh, dragon, what dragon something? Oh, another God. dungeon Fine. one. Elsewhere as well. Yes. yes. Okay. That's... Right. So we did already See, have this. So this is just the first story alone driven one with a new map. With no with no content. with no yeah, with oh, yeah. no new arenas or dungeons yeah, or trials or anything. Actually. 
to set you over from Christmas as well, over Christmas till the first to the next yeah. quarter. That is actually but I, very true. I what understand we... it. If you look at the monumental heavy lifting they did this year in terms of the amount of stuff they did deliver us. Yeah. It was a yeah. very no, aggressive oh, yeah. schedule. That's you know, lot. so um I get it. But that was well, I know still... I have a couple friends that were really quite disappointed with the fact that there yeah. wasn't much to do besides questing because what are you gonna yeah. do now i mean you like, like we finished the story i mean obviously we know what we're gonna, we're gonna do but like you know there is there is this um idea of you know not having enough stuff to do outside of questing uh, and just like cyrodo and stuff and like maybe getting achievements stuff for the casual player to go and do to you know carry them over to the next thing and like you know are people going to get burnt out before the next, you know, the next DLC, which ideally, well, I don't know when the first DLC came out this year, but you want to have that hype announcement in January, maybe. How are they going to beat, how are they going to beat, like, we're going to talk about this in a future podcast yeah. anyway, but they, they need to try and beat going to Twitch and not announcing that somehow. Maybe they'll have, like, their own show. Maybe they'll, I don't know. Maybe they'll just do the Twitch thing. Well, we, had the, we had the clicky, um stream where we had to click yeah remember, remember with the tablet um never was, again so, yeah historically it's january when uh, we get um chapter information yeah. and yeah. further january 15th was see. when i went out for the yeah. eso live thing yeah so i would expect we'll get some sort of teaser information um late december mm -hmm. or early january yeah and then like a full reveal of like this is the new this is yeah. the new year yeah a new will we get a new class this year? Wow, that's that's gonna be another podcast. probably not if they follow the, 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 the yeah where yeah. it seems like every other chapter we get a new class yeah class so be are real kind interesting. of a big deal there are a lot yeah there are a lot yeah it's not just a it's not just a couple of extra. It's not just a guild line like the Sigic. It's it's an entire yeah. class. Like the guild, it, a line is easier. I think a game of this complexity too. It takes a couple of years to get a new class sort of dialed in to where it yeah fits well, well fit. with everything else. You know exactly. You're like so. making sure it's not too yeah. What is its role? What's it going to do? Yeah. What is it going to defeat other things doing that? Well, first of all, they got to sort out all the combat issues first, don't they? <laughs> be, so you know we've got champion point um overhaul of some sort alluded to that uh, we can now reasonably expect yeah a, a 2020 announcement um mm. and then perhaps a skill line or something else we haven't even heard of yet i think uh, so and, i think that's what they're gonna do isn't it that's what it feels like they'll do that yeah. next year um i have to see i mean I don't even know where they get to. This year was just, it was pretty epic. I think there were yeah. moments, like we can maybe, I don't know if you guys would agree with me, where I kind of played ESO a lot and I maybe burnt, got a little bit burnt out at times. And I stream multiple things anyway, but I got burnt out a little bit at different times. The events of kind of, you know, the Indrik stuff, I think that's kind of why yeah. when we're coming towards the end of that. Whereas I think the Indrik stuff was really good to get people logged uh... in. It really did make me just get sick of logging in. I hate to, I hate to tell you this, but uh, if, you check, if you check your fragment event, fragment there's a new event, one. There is a new one. A new I know spectral this, injury. I know the snowy one is new, but is there one? No. On snowy, yeah, there's a new one there's that we've never one. even heard of coming on top of oh, it oh no so. was that was that a Be new spectral. one i thought i just didn't get it <laughs> seems like the indrick thing is gonna oh. be a thing i mean <laughs> be a while yeah oh, at least just change the mounts or something else i don't want any people ask in chat and i'm all like if you're asking about indrick at this point forget about it i don't <laughs> want it anymore i don't, I don't want to try to explain just it give me something else like armor i don't know like yeah. mounts are cool but like maybe something like some it's kind all of... the same mount with a different skin and it's so like <laughs> tedious and convoluted and very difficult to explain and it's just one of those neat idea w way too many steps way too many way too much stuff it if you have to do a, yeah. like a venn diagram and an if then statement to help somebody understand <laughs> how to do a, que a quest line or to unlock a thing it's a yeah. little too it's over the top you know 
It is, it is. Yeah, people do have commands in and let Indrik command to the point to I just get I just go and tell people to watch Shimmer's video on it. That's yeah, same. It quite well. I, just, I think I've actually got a link. For and then poor remember. Shimmer gets in the comments. So how do you? Uh, yeah. Get All right. Did you watch the video? Yeah. What the yeah. Hell? We love you, Shimmer. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should get on there. Uh, I need to do a like a comment section, a YouTube comment section podcast, and like get you guys to tell me like all your comments from like or just stream comments questions and see which ones the who comes up with the best the best comments. I'm sure we could have some co quite common fun ones um, and questions that have been asked. Is there anything in chat that chat wants to ask? Because I think we're going to kind of wind up uh, what we're talking about. Is there anything yet? Anyone enjoyed, you guys enjoyed that you would like to mention very quickly before we go? I know I'm taking up a lot of your time as well, so I'm very, very... I just wonder, you um, know, like, now that we have dragons in ESO and they, they are so well done and they finally got it all, like, sorted out, are we just done with dragons or we're... I don't know. You know what I mean? Like, that seems like... I feel like we're not... I don't. No, I feel so. like we're not. I, uh, yeah. Like we just saw dragons flying around, like the capitals yes. of uh -huh. of the base game. I'm like they're doing more. I can tell. And I mean, dragon yeah. dad said it feels like if they again, didn't, it would just be ridiculous. Like they need like you just brought dragons into the game. And it's cool. already quite. Yeah, they are cool, and it's already questionable that they were brought into the game. Right? Like it sounds like it was something they had to really struggle to do. It feels like they just brought them into the game and they just kind of buggered off. Like, you know, Nephilim's coming back. He's coming back. But um, well, lore-wise, we don't hear from Nephilim for five hundred more years. Damn, well, that's a lot of back. DLC right there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah we're not even sure that. if it's Nephilim because uh, the next time we have a red dragon who likes to help humans, uh, he's called Nafalargus or something like that. So Nafalarga. he's more power. What's the Argos? Does that mean? Does that, is well, that anything in lore or is that theory? Okay? Is is that he goes into hiding? He's got way more of a backstory Again? than anybody Jesus. realized. And he he pretty much only allies with humans when he needs their help to fight other dragons. And that's uh, the theory is that something happens. He strikes a deal with Tiber Septum and he becomes Tiber Septum's secret weapon. Mm. Um, it which uh, that's how that's Tiber Septum can, puts the the region of Hammerfell under under heel because he's this you know they they were losing and then Nafalar comes in and, and basically you know wins Game of Thrones style right so. Yeah. <laughs> but we don't there's there was mention of a nafilar in the around where we are now so that fits but we don't hear from him again in for 500 years so they have to be careful because th they got away with the whole dragons right now because this we know they weren't extinct because we find that out in skyrim that they most of them just went into hiding yeah um, and that, you know, the dragons were worldwide because they aren't from uh, Tamriel. They're actually from Akavir, which is their, like, home pl place. So the, it's reasonable to consider that dragons were, uh, there were pockets of it, like, in elsewhere. But, you know, for them to then do a Skyrim DLC or chapter or season, for instance, to have dragons in it again would completely break the lore. So And we've got I'm Elder curious, Scrolls 6 uh, coming, right? <laughs> Yeah, I feel like you have so. to be very judicious about your dragon use here to not just go completely off the rails and fly in the face of everything we know about dragons in the lore. They I, they have to stay special or else they'll just become another, they become mundane because, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you know what I mean? Like at, at, once you kill like your first couple dragons in Skyrim and then you figure out how to fight them, they're not even all that epic anymore. You know what I mean? You're just running around wrecking dragons, taking their souls and shouting in villages <laughs> you know what I mean? like, <laughs> so you have to be you got to be careful about it if you're a story just writer. rounds it up it is running around dragons are flying you're shouting at them a bit yeah you're, you're killing them you're taking their souls yeah you're like we another dragon gotta kill <laughs> that reminds me of the last podcast it would be kind of cool if they um had maybe rogue dragons that were pretty powerful yeah um just randomly pop into one of the zones not like on a cycle as they are in elsewhere but something more like a big event Random that attack. you know you'd, you'd probably be like oh there's a dragon let's 
let's go because you maybe there's like you get better stuff he's yeah. quite hard and it's going to take a lot of people to take him down mm, um so yeah. that everyone can get there in time sort of deal um i, I think that would be nice <laughs> i did they're, miss they're, that they're around right yeah. now it would have been cool to see those in and that's what was one thing that was cool during the prologue right because you saw the dragons i mean i don't know if you guys witnessed this you saw the dragons over some of the capital cities right in yeah. the um yeah. which was really good so you people see, are like, freaking out too they're yeah. like oh my god they're actual npcs like reacting not not many but they are like you can when they come it's out it's really you know, cool it is we were making cool. fun of like yeah. how the it, how the ordinators weren't caring and then i was idling somewhere and then like some hands of amalexia were like oh my gosh run and i was like wait wait you're supposed to protect the temple where are you going <laughs> yeah with those dragons i'm out Dude, this, <laughs> is, like, <"Bye." laughs> this is something that actually happened that um that actually guild wars 2 used to do uh they don't do it as much anymore which is a crying shame uh, instead they have like a hundred maps which is uh annoying but like <clears throat> they had this thing where basically when a new story came along they had like incursions onto old maps of like and events would come in where you know a map would be taken over for a while with this new dlc on this new event and they'd reuse the content that's Whoa. already in the game so you know when the dragon came up over the thing i was like wow i had guild wars 2 like um memory and i was like this is really cool like maybe dragons are gonna start attacking bases no, maybe we should, but it's very difficult to change those zones because questing and everything else is so reliant upon them being so st like s similar. They can't change these zones that much, can they? Because there's so much quest questing, there's so much yeah. travel around them, and that's the beauty of these maps. Whereas Guild Wars Two, it's easier to do that because they've just got hard quests. They don't have they don't have any quests. They've just got area like events that don't have quests where you go and do this that and the other other than the main story I've so i've never played guild wars 2 so that's kind of fascinating to me to hear oh <laughs> I'm, I'm guild wars 2 is one i'm not, not trying to sell the game i mean i i am a partner over there as well and i'm very involved with those guys but if you ha i i always advise players if you've played L if you've played guild wars 2 you need to go and and like you're looking for something to play that you've not played before you need to go and check out the scrolls online if you've played Elder Scrolls Online and you feel a bit burnt out and you want to go and play something else, you need to go and play Guild Wars 2. Because these two games have a lot of things in common. They also have really, really stark contrast and differences, um, which are really, you know, mm -hmm. unique to their own game. And, uh, you know, they've both got awesome combat systems I enjoy. And they've got some great storytelling. The lore is good. They've both got different systems, you know. ESO's got this optional sub. Guild Wars 2's got this kind of free more free model where you pay for stuff as it kind of comes along. And you know, there is some there is some not bad MMOs out there at the moment. Um but Elder Scrolls is definitely, you know, top of that list like at the moment in terms of, you know, he's doing a lot uh, of different things specifically for a lot of people. And, you know, the population grew um quite considerably throughout the year especially with the hype from the first dlc uh and then with you know it kind of went to elsewhere and i feel like it's kind of teetering off again i guess because you get the new class and elsewhere is obviously you know the expansion uh or the new chapter sorry um so i think you know hopefully the hype could kind of continue into january and you know i think this time of year like ninja says you know it starts to get a little bit quiet in ESO, maybe. I mean, obviously, they're working behind the scenes, doing what they're doing, but it's all system stuff. It's all stuff that, you know, is going to be pretty much for next year, right? I mean, it's, there's nothing going to yeah, be. Yeah, there's not going to be any new major revelations through till we find out what's going on next year. <laughs> <laughs> Did I miss some opportunity to perform in the circus? Are you talking about the NPC in Guild Wars <laughs> sorry <laughs> oh my god <laughs> you are <laughs> god damn it there's a there's an npc in uh um guild or called jab is in the circus um <laughs> <laughs> and he's bald as well <laughs> um Rip. anyway but yeah no like, like <laughs> just, i think it's going to be all for next year and this is all system stuff so this is stuff that's going to improve gameplay but for a lot of players a lot of people won't understand or you know that stuff won't appeal to them so it's going to be actual physical content in the game physical content you know i mean actual content in the game which is going to be the stuff which 
uh, a lot of people are going to come back for. Hopefully, we'll see that uh, awesome information about that, you know, like Ninja said, kind of end of December. When, because this isn't even out on console yet. So, you know. And the console player base is, I think, bigger. Like, generally, PC, uh, PlayStation, and Xbox. You got Stadia coming out as well, believe it or not. Remember, don't forget about that. Like, what's going on with Elder Very Scrolls? I'm curious how that's oh, going to work. I've got it, and day one, I'm streaming that. Like, no worries. Like, I'm, I'm like, is that, that's going to be almost like a, is it going to be fresh start server? I don't even know. I don't know. Um, and it's going to be interesting Wait, to what? find out. What are you talking about? The Google is this theme no, about Google Stadia. Oh, yeah, Stadia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so it's yeah. going to be on there. Oh. Um, so yeah, that's so a big thing. Yeah, so it's going to be on it. Grown eye roll. Stadia. Yeah. Grown eye roll. Well, well okay. it's good to be it's good to be knowledgeable about this thing. So if it does suck, then it sucks. <laughs> and we don't have to talk about it again. But... Uh, and you know about this kind of stuff more than I do. Um, but uh, it is it is an interesting thing, especially for someone who actually their PC is starting to become a little bit of a potato. Um, it's definitely cheaper than buying a new one. <laughs> but in the long run, I don't know if it's going to be cheaper. Um, but yeah, anyway, Stadia is another conversation for another day. Maybe I have to get you guys on to a general show. Talk about that. But we're going to go, because I've held these guys on for ages. Uh, they've been here for like three hours. Three hours, 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, it has been almost oh, three hours. Champion. <laughs> You're hungry. They've done some awesome work. They've not been on stream for that long, but they've been with me for that amount of time. Oh. 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 Yes. A stretch. A stretch, everybody. I've got to keep holding this cup of tea. It's almost done cooling down. <laughs> stretch after stream. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> I'm just the endless staring and non-blinking from her <laughs> team. I really need to get that, like, your, your thingy avatar from you. I need to, this, I will just say this is my old webcam where you can't see me blink and all that. Yeah, that's so true. That was my excuse before. <laughs> <laughs> I love tea. <laughs> okay, right. Uh, right. So that's, that's it. That's it, indeed. Thank you very much, Ninja T. Um, we're going to do a little bit of an outro now. Thank you so much for watching uh, and also for, for these guys for being here. Ninja, where can we find you? What, where are you? What are you doing? What time? Uh, I'm on all socials as Ninja614, except Twitter, Ninja underscore 614. And uh, we've, we've covered that in the past. Twitter, please, free Ninja614 <laughs> so I can have it. <laughs> Um, and I typically stream Tuesdays through Sundays starting around 7 or 8 p.m. Sunday's kind of a flex day. So, like, today I'm doing this podcast instead. Monday's my day off. Okay. Oh, wow. Look, look, look at that. He's dedication. Dedication right now. So go and follow Ninja614 on all the things other than Twitter. If you Google it, you'll probably find it anyway. You'll be fine. Just put it in Google. Easy. Um, right. Awesome. Check him out. Please, description, there will be a link to go and check out all the things. T the Khajiit, where can we find you? What time? Where are you going? What's happening? What do you do? Do you like cake? Oh, I do like cake. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I do find me on, uh, <laughs> on and Twitter at yeah. T underscore the underscore Khajiit, as my bot likes to call me. Um, and as far as my schedule, everyone knows that's a joke. I don't actually have a schedule, but I'm usually on at some time <laughs> in the afternoonish, eveningish, in the U.S. time zones. Um, <laughs> uh, every day except Sunday and Tuesday, except when I am on on Sunday and Tuesday. <laughs> that's why my schedule does not which exist. Is, which is when, whenever you got down more, please. And she, and she's on today. She's on the podcast as well. So this was on yeah. Sunday the eleventh. Wow, it's just because that's the other way around because I'm English. Um, it's the third of November today, so we'll be back in about two weeks, roughly, depending on whether or not I have a paper due. Because I am now in grad school, everyone. Yes, I am. Um, otherwise, we'll have probably some new guests. We might have to get these guys back on. You never know. Uh, I'm not sure what we're going to be talking about. We're going to have to wait and see um, as we start to get towards the end of the year. We've had quite a few episodes so far. We're on about um, 17, 18. 
Um, it's been awesome uh, so far, actually. I think, were you guys on the first one? Ninja was. I was. I think, was well. I, I think I came on as a, like, last second thing. I think Katie Maybe. was supposed to be on. Yes, that sounds familiar. Maybe. But you still I think that's what it was, yeah. There you go. So I'll probably have yeah, to yeah. do that at the end of the year. Get the people who are here on the at the at the beginning and the end. Maybe do that. It'll be a reunion show. I don't know. Oh, is Kev do it? <laughs> it was Kev do it. Yeah, Kev do oh, it. Oh, he's Kev, kind of yeah. stopped though now. So Aww, <laughs> that might be difficult. Yeah, I'll just be going talk about like, so. Fallout seventy six or something. I don't know. He's still playing it. He's just not making content for it. He's just not making content so, for it. Okay, he, he well, very, maybe. He, he very much on. could be, yeah. He could, he could, he could definitely. We could have, we could have a, a, a reunion. Yeah, we totally fun. could. That'd He'd be, be down for it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll do that. I'll do that. All right. I'm hearing him. Yeah. <laughs> It'd be, it's, he's going to do it. He's going to be fine. <laughs> he's going to be all right. Can't there you go. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks so much. I am Jebra as well, and I will sell myself very shortly here as well. I do full-time stream. I do a vast amount of things. Like I said, I'm in grad school at the moment as well. Um, I've got schedule roughly about like uh, 11 a.m. Pacific uh, during the day and sometimes at the moment because I've switched it up because I'm studying the evenings more like but, uh, 8 p.m. Pacific at night. Uh, I do stream on the weekend. It's mainly Thursday to Monday at the moment. I have Tuesday and Wednesday off. Uh, and some evenings as well. So streaming has been um, cut in half almost. But uh, yeah, life is life is good. The things are happening. The games are good. Got some good people talking on this web the webcast. Wow, the webcast. Podcast. Webcast. Oh, this is fancy new word. Uh, this new phrase. This new thing that's been invented. Um, otherwise, that's it. We're gonna we're gonna shoot off and uh, thank you for watching the new companions this month this week. Well, it's technically it's been a month, so thank you for your patience. Uh, the show is back. Like I said, grad school kind of took over, but join us next time. We've been talking about Dragonhold. We're on Discord online. It's been new companions. You may wave goodbye if you would like to. Bye and shit. <laughs> <laughs>